Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And thank you for all the amazing subs. I know. Subs. It was like going it was, crazy. It was, it was a ton of subs just before the show. Yeah. Um, we'll get to them in a Hype second. Hype trains and the whole thing. It's crazy. Crazy. Uh, we're going to be playing 7,800 games today. Two of them, in fact. Oh, don't have the lights on or anything. Oh, geez. Plug those we in. We got so excited about the hype train. Yeah, I forgot the lights. Let me turn those <laughs> on. There we go. <laughs> Get them. Get ourselves organized here. Fading nicely. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be playing A Legend of, of Silver Peak uh, by Atarius Maximus and also Death Merchant by Atarius Maximus. Both RPG ish games. Okay. It's on the 7800. So RPG -ish. that'll be a lot of fun. I love it. Mass hysteria. <laughs> Dogs and cats living together. Yeah. <laughs> Good quote from Ghostbusters. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling down the left. Yeah. And I will say the other names at the end because I didn't have a chance to add them in. <laughs> 8 Bit Swami, Alan for our Arkham H, Armscar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Booyah, Pocock, Buck Owens, Cat, a bunch of zeros. Uh, Charles Whelan, Chive 5, Cubanismo, Cyrano Reboot. Uh, Danny VC, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Defender, John, uh, Ground Trooper, Johnny W. C. Carl, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yandis, Mark's Basic, Mike McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, MK Smith, Mr. Zarner, Wood, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strong, Pack of AG, Koa Garcia, 7E, Rented Ghost, Repentless VG, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Ramirez, The Lost Cartridge, The Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Trek MDNX, Ken X, and uh, TM, ev TM Events gave. Uh, a uh, sub to Nostalgic26. Rendered Ghost gave a sub to Ch Chal Sedan and Mao. Uh, Miss Command resubbed. Rendered Ghost resubbed. The D Train 37 resubbed. Uh, TM Events resubbed. And Carl G resubbed as well. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for enjoying the show and being here with us tonight. Do you know anything about the Concerto cartridge for the 7800? Yes. yes we do. <laughs> it is right here. And it is an available cartridge you can get. And it comes with an SD card. You put it in, load some games on it, pop it in your 7800, and away you go. You can play a whole bunch of 7800 uh, old school games, classic games, or some homebrew as well. Um, but we're using the uh, Dragonfly cart tonight, um, which is not available anymore, unfortunately. Oh, no. No. Oh. Yeah, they sold out. That's a shame. But there is another one on the horizon. Mm -hmm. um, um, it is the 7800 Game Drive, but uh, and it's coming very, very, very soon. Sometime this summer? Mm, when Depends it comes. Depends on your definition of soon. When it comes. <laughs> yeah. When he's done it. <laughs> um, but we might have a special on that when it comes out. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'll get mm -hmm. in touch mm -hmm. with him. Um, if you want your, to support the show and get your name on this list, uh, just uh, hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Just link them up. I'm sure you can figure that out. Yeah. You're all computer geeks, right? <laughs> you know how to do it. Um, I do have a poll question tonight. Uh, it is, how do you handle burnout on projects? Mm. It doesn't have to be uh, developing games or anything. It can be any kind of project. Hype train success. We have let, received a level two hype train emote. It's Yay. some wonky eyed dog. Well, let's share that wonky eyed dog on the screen. There you go. That's a new <laughs> <laughs> new icon everybody can use. <clears throat> one uh, option one is power through it. Just like, mm. just keep on going. It's like, oh, I'm burnt out, but I need to keep going. <sighs> <clears throat> of course, these are, let's, let's say you don't have a deadline and it's your own project. Because sometimes, if it's not your own project, you have to power through it because yeah. there's a deadline. Well, deadlines are a different thing. Yeah. But, I mean, you still get burnout on projects with deadlines, too. Yeah, so you, you kind of have to figure out what to do about that. Uh, but, number yeah. two, take a break and work on other projects and come back to it. Yeah. Uh, number three, take a break from all projects yeah. and just, like, relax, watch some TV, do whatever, watch a movie, and then come back. Uh, number four, take a break and usually never come back to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I can see. Or Carl G says, where's the option for start three more projects that you also never finish? <laughs> uh, yep, that's 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 one. You yeah. could uh, take a break and work on other projects. <laughs> that would be the yeah. one. Yeah. Um, I usually have tons of projects and I love working on projects. So it's number two for me. 
uh, I go for just work on another one. How about take a break until someone asks you about it and then you just feel uh, overwhelmed with guilt and you start working <laughs> on it again. It's like, oh, I gotta work on it again. <laughs> yeah, Whatever that's another Whatever happened to that project? Oh, oh, that I one, I guess yeah. I'll work on it this weekend. <laughs> um, uh, mail news and feedback. Yesterday was mm. the 50th anniversary of Atari being a company. Or the 50th anniversary when mm. Atari became a company. Became the a original company Atari. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I posted this um, Atari 50. Um, I, a huge, or I made this. A huge thank you to the homebrew community for keeping the spirit of Atari thriving after 50 years of nice. Atari gaming. Yeah. So yeah, this the show and all the programmer uh, developers, all the people who play homebrew games. Just keep keep that tradition alive. Yeah. People who make the new games, people who make new hardware to play more advanced games on it. Um, it's it's really awesome that we're able to still play and enjoy new games. I like on how these consoles. People still like to tweak and hack the hardware and come oh, up so with new fun. ways of doing things and, and push the cramming limits of more can... memory into things. Oh and yeah. The abilities and the sounds. It's just and so much fun. <laughs> it it is fun. It is fun. It's amazing people's creativity. So <clears throat> mm. yeah. Oh, at Ivory Tower Collection says, I'm supposed to be playing Atari right now, but I'm watching the stream. Yeah. <laughs> you can do both. If you have two screens, you can have us going on one and play Atari on the other. And so good you are at multitasking. Just don't turn it up too loud because it'll interfere with the show. Yeah. No. <laughs> interfere with us playing. No, I'm just mm. kidding. Um, so on the weekend, mm -hmm. uh, we went to Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I hosted a panel talk. Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of fun. It was very big. Once again, um, the, uh, the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo was yeah. very full. Yeah. Probably the fullest I've ever seen it. It was I think so. quite packed. Yeah. And I think a lot of events are like that. Yeah. I think people are excited nowadays. to just go anywhere. Just it's like, uh, oh, nothing, things are back. It was good. Don't <laughs> get me wrong. Yes. But yes. Yeah. I think people are very enthusiastic about yeah. it. It had everything a uh, normal retro gaming expo had. Lots of vendors, mm -hmm. lots of video game art, yep. crafty things people have made. Yeah. Um, there were panel talks. Yep. There was musicians. Tournaments. There yep. was tournaments. There was a costume contest. Yeah, there was a console. They had a room where they had free play console consoles and, yep. and a few arcade games there, too. A few arcade too. games from our favorite uh, arcade. Yeah, Capital uh, City Capital Arcade. Capital City Arcade. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was really um, <laughs> bef and I hosted a panel with three amazing panelists, uh, David Galloway, Daniel Savage, and Brian Povinciano. <laughs> um, before the uh, panel, I talked with uh, John Hancock. It was uh, very nice to mm -hmm. show up to the panel. He asked a uh, question in the Q&A as yeah, well. Yeah. You can hear him on the on the uh the video there i even labeled it at the bottom if people don't know his voice yeah so this is this is um us doing the talk i, f I filmed it so you can watch that on the zero page channel if you want to watch it and um let's see there we go see i even shrunk us down in the corner oh very nice well the well the fancy. videos because i was because <laughs> i showed um examples of the games on um, the side screen made. yeah yeah and and one of the panelists was brian uh was Oh, wow. Thank 29. you, 48K Ram. Thank you, 48K Ram. <laughs> Welcome awesome. all the people from 48K Ram. Just yeah. talking about... Uh, uh, the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo on, yes. on the weekend. And we had um, David Galloway, who mm -hmm. is a friend of the show, is DJ Mips on the mm -hmm. Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. He was on the panel showing off his games, um, Blip Football, um, Arcade Pong, and this amazing Mega Man 2600, which I urged him yeah, to so keep brilliant. going with and finish and make more levels. It's so much fun. And, yeah. and, and he uh, admitted on the panel that he copied the jump uh, code from Mega Man. Yeah. From an NES Mega Man. He, he decoded uh, uh, back, like, um, uh, went through the code of the NES version, mm -hmm. I believe. And, and figured out the exact jumping mechanics of it. Yeah. Very good turnout. Yeah, ours the I last... I it was good, and it was at the very end of the day. Very last so panel. So you kind of go, oh, gosh, is anyone going to show up? Yes, happy birthday, Atari. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, was anybody going to show up? And it was uh, about three quarters full. It was quite good. Yeah. And yeah. lots of questions from the audience. And... Um, and also we had um, Daniel Savage there, who is an N64 developer, as you can see there. 
And we also had uh, Brian Pavinciano, who did Retro City Rampage. Very cool. For a million uh, different platforms. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun, and yeah, it was about just over an hour, our panel. Mm hmm. Yep, um, and all the panelists did uh, did really well. Mm -hmm. So if you want to watch that, it is on the Zero Page uh, YouTube channel. Um, what else? Oh, some of the stuff I picked up from the show. Oh, he, yeah. That, that's really the success. Is <laughs> what does James find? What did I find? Does he find something he's really excited about finding? So, yeah, because yeah. a lot of the stuff that I'm looking for nowadays is either really expensive, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to buy this, yeah. or hard to find. Like, you just don't run across it. Yeah. Um, so I did find three things. Um, let's just see. Let's go to the cat cam. Uh, first one... Um, it's just a Nintendo DS game, uh, Dig Dug, uh, what is it, Digging Strike, and it kind of combines Dig Dug 1 and 2 together. Yeah, and makes it looks like, it, have you, did you try adventure? it out? Very briefly. Very briefly. I, I'll probably try it tonight But it is working, more. which is cool. Yeah, I did pop it in, it does work. Yeah, we um, do have a, a few N Nintendo DS games, so. Yes. Um, and Super Cobra Tabletop. Very nice. Uh, which is like a really good translation of the arcade game. Yeah. Like really, really good. It plays really well. Um, I don't have enough C batteries, <laughs> so I ordered some more today. Oh, that's what that Amazon charge yes. was. <laughs> um, but he did demonstrate, uh, the seller, who was actually Capital City Arcade, yeah. um, did demonstrate it for me, and it does work. So, mm. and, and it worked really well. And lastly, I did not have one of these. Very cool. Um, in television, uh, Atari 2600 to Intellivision Adapter. Um, so I can test out uh, Atari 2600 games mm. on the Intellivision just to see, make sure they... System changer! System changer, yeah. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I do like these little switches it has on it. And kind the, of nice and the reset physical buttons. hard switches. Like, yeah. Really fast to reset. Yeah. Um, and nice. game select. So mm. let me show you each of those on here. And you know how much you paid. Oh, for that one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I paid a little bit less than that because you always don't you don't accept the uh, price. The on first the, the first price, yeah. But does the harmony cart work? Well, that's a good um, question. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've heard everything is very compatible with. Um, there you go. Original battery covers. Oh, Ivory Tower collections. Be advised, it won't work through the RGB upgrade. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Well, then I'll have to use an RF version of the Intellivision. It's a good thing to test. Um, maybe it will work. And the D-Train asks, no, any good socks? We, unfortunately, did not pick up any good socks. I didn't see... I saw a lot of I did of see a shirts. lot of clothing. A little bit of... A few some, shirts. Some jean vests. Jean vests. Yeah. Uh, I think that that woman who runs that booth was there last year, but she, yeah, she, she, was, she does, sure. like... Or the year last time. Jean jackets, or cut-off jean jackets. With geeky stuff on with them. With geeky stuff on the back, which is really cute. A lot of kids' stuff, but I, I, yeah. I noticed she was there last year as well. Or Definitely. two years ago, whenever it was. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very cool. Um, but I didn't see any socks at all because I do like no, video not game socks. I or, I found maybe um, sockless today because it's now into summer. There were a few, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe somewhat fewer booths than the last time. I I don't know if that was just like craft. Booths yeah, yeah, and they clothing had booths, more yeah. overflow. I don't think they had as much this year. Yeah, but it might more, have been organization too because I suspect it was maybe organized a little last minute in a in a little yeah. shorter bit a shorter time frame. Um, yeah. And I'm hoping next year they'll have even more talks as well because they didn't have a tremendous number yeah, they of had talks. One room of talks, and you thought last time they had two rooms of talks. I swear they had more. They might have. And yeah. then they had another room where they did a lot of trivia stuff. So, yeah. But um, I had a lot of fun cool. doing the talk. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it was great. Yeah. Good turnout. Had a very good time. Um, let's see. So uh, let's go on to the news here. So. There was a release, speaking of 7800 games that we're playing today, uh, Trebor puts together a uh, ROM Pro Pack, and he's up to version 4.10, 4.10. Uh, well, it's 4.10, because it goes from 4.9 to 4.10. This is, uh, he, he compiles a very comprehensive zip file of Atari 7800 original retail demos, hacks, homebrews, prototypes, and utilities, and it's an excellent way to just download everything all at once, um, available for the 7800. 
and these are all publicly available things he's not like ripping cartridges and putting stuff on these are all definitely uh available um and he started compiling these january 1st 2017 um, it's described in the Atari 7800 development wiki as Trevor's ROM pack has pretty much every ROM that runs on the Atari 7800 console. All ROM headers have been confirmed and or corrected. Mm -hmm. And he says it's only a little over three months since the last update, but we have a ton of modified Pokey demos and other goodies that need to be shared with the masses. Does anything use C batteries anymore? Maybe some big flashlights? Nostalgic 26 ass. I, I would say flashlights. That's about Do it. Do they really? Or just old, old flashlights? Like, I don't know if yeah, new, new ones. Yeah, new flashlights are rechargeable now, right? They're slim and small, and yeah. They wouldn't even use Some plug-in in the wall, so I don't know. Yeah. Not, not, not much. How many people do you think were there at <sighs> the expo? Probably several thousand, Okay, but I... I'll, I'll tell you this. There was a lineup outside the door. All morning. For almost two and a half hours. Yeah. They were still getting them inside. Yeah, It yeah. was a lot of people. And they were they were slowing them down maybe a little bit, and the registration just took longer. Yeah, but, but people are, people are already paid were on a list, and they were able to go through. Yeah. Um, so, so there we, were a lot of people we lining really up for quick. tickets who didn't buy tickets ahead of time. So yeah, um, it was pretty big, and the floor that had all the vendors was by far the the most populated oh, area. Yeah, it's very packed. And that was packed. Yeah. That was kind of like a, I don't know, like a half-size ballroom's worth of space or a ballroom's worth of space. I'll put up some it more. Was packed. Actually, I should have some We do have a big, photos. the photo of you. Let's see. Looking above the railing there. Yeah. That I took. I think you put that on, I on did. Twitter or Instagram. I did. So let's go to that. Yep. So there is the floor. You can't see that side of it. And this is much later in the day. <laughs> yeah, this is sort of late afternoon. So there's there's some down this side, a lot more this side. This is only yeah. like half of it. Yeah, yeah. there's more more to the to the left. Yeah, and um, there's the panel room. Yay! Um, and there's the listing, homebrew game, game development, seven thirty. Um, and there's a picture yay. of the panel taken by Tanya. A few thousand, I would say. Yeah, um, oh yeah, a few thousand for That sure. photo of you looking over the railing, that yeah. at one point in the morning was wall-to-wall -wall people. Oh, so yeah, every it's a little area was, there, was but, packed um, here when, when it first started When it up. first opened up. So. We know, people rush good. in, they yeah. get what they want, and they leave, yeah. right? Yeah, it depends on why people are there, right? Yeah, so, some people yeah. are there for the panels, and they stay the whole time. There's lots of stuff yeah. going on. Yeah, like, lots of stuff. Chip tunes, um, musicians. Um, lots of contests, uh, and also high score tournaments like they yeah. had um uh, smash brothers they smash had brothers, tetris, tetris mario kart yeah. i think as well they several had... versions of mario kart and they also had um old school computers as well they had c64s it, yeah. Was and it the chilliwack yeah. computer club something like that yes, yes. they had chilliwack some really computer nice club. um older older computers yeah. demonstrating games and things like that so yeah, yeah. yeah um Prototype number one of the <laughs> FujiNet for Atari Lynx has mm -hmm. been shown. Mm -hmm. um, FujiNet Atari Lynx prototype number one running the ISS tracker. Obviously, this person has not upgraded their screen because it's very dim. Yeah. Um, but you can kind of make out the world there, the world map, and you can see where the ISS is. Nice. Um, which is very cool. And I love... It's it's slimmed down now. It's in a it's in a uh, it's the first prototype, so it's inside a plastic encasing now. And I just I I didn't know anything about um, the connector, uh, the Com Links. That's what it called the Com Links adapter. It's right at the top there. Um, it uses just a 2.5 millimeter stereo jack, like for headphones. Mm. Um, that's how it communicates and uh a headphone jack really yeah just a headphone jack really so it's like easy to make it for like all the parts are available all the time huh. like and and i looked up like the specs on it and carrie posted this like a number of years ago 2009 uh the comlinks cable is quite simple it has three terminals the tip as a 0.5 volts don't connect that mm -hmm. uh the middle terminal is for just talking mm -hmm. that's if you want to power something mm. like the thing that's connected I'd, i'm guessing it has enough power um, that's so you don't have to put batteries in this. I don't know if this does have batteries, but it can be powered from the Lynx itself. Uh, the middle terminal is a Comlinx data. 
This needs to be connected to all linkses in the network. Okay. And the shield terminal is ground. This also needs to be connected to all the linkses in the network. So really you need two wires that only go to every links in the net. The Comlinks is a broadcast network. Only one links can send at a time. All others will listen. Connector is 2.5 millimeter stereo male. I believe the 0.5 uh, plus five volt tip was for powering up some future wireless Comlinks. Mm. And I saw like if you want to connect multiple links up, you just split it like a headphone adapter. You just get a splitter. Really? It's so good. It's like the the nine pin joystick adapter. It's like, yeah, it's open. Anyone can use it. Wow. So that's okay. super, super awesome. Interesting. I love that's that. really interesting. Actually, I think the screen is updated, but the angle they took didn't come out right. I didn't see the telltale vertical links. Oh, uh, mm. vertical lines. Yeah, it is clean. It's just, well, there's a really close view of it. Those are pretty vertical. There you go. There, that should give you an idea. I mean, I mean, I don't have one yet. Mine is, mine is being built. I'll show it when it comes here. It's very special, actually. Very special. It's first of its kind. Actually. Well, now I see them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so that is very cool. Um, so you'll be able to get online with your Atari Lynx play games over the internet with people, mm -hmm. um, like with the 8-bit Unity system, which has built-in multi-player uh, gaming. So looking forward to that when I get my links. Um, and that is all the news, news. for now. And uh, so let's get to the games. Let's take a look at the poll. It is 55% in the lead. Take a break, work on some other projects, and then come back, which I thought that one would take the lead because most people have multiple things on the go. Yeah. And projects is like something that you want to do. Like, these isn't, this isn't work. Yeah. These are projects. Yeah. So yeah. you want to do all of them. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And then second place, take a break from all the projects and come back. Yep, breaks are good. And then power through it. Wow. Wouldn't have thought power through it. And then uh, at 15% and then take a break and usually never come back to yeah. a 10%. Yeah. I can see that because you just, like if you hit a wall, you're like, there's something that you can't get through. I always find I need an end goal and I need a timeline and I need someone right. to say this needs to be done for this reason. And it could just be... You know, like I'm thinking in terms of like a little art project. Yeah. If I'm giving it to someone or it's or, you know, I'm making them for um, your show to give away or, or you know, yeah. then that's motivation to like ramp it up and do it. So I always find I need I need someone to kind of reset my schedule to get me back on track. The camera's a bit <laughs> off today because because we're filming with it. So just oh yeah yeah we this we was the camera we took with us so yeah there we go. that filmed the yeah the panel talk okay so we're gonna now play our games. first game uh legend of silver peak this was made in 2018 it's still a work in progress hmm. by steve engelhart um also known as atarius maximus on the atari age forums oh good timing yum 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 yum, yum. I brought that bowl for a reason. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. There you go. Okay. You can have stinky good, hands. Good good timing, Carlton. Very good timing. So I can read about the game. Yeah. Read while we... Uh, Feed those kitties. Treat the cat. Good kitty. So this is actually a very big game. It's 512K. It's massive. Um... So, and, and thank you to Carl G, actually, for fixing the binary to allow it to load on the Dragonfly cart. Oh, excellent. Because it wasn't working, and I was changing all the settings in the Dragonfly. I tried the Concerto, didn't work in there. And then I saw, later on, Carl G posted a modded version of this game. And I popped it in the Dragonfly, and it worked right away. Um, it was very awesome. Thank you very much, Carl G, for feeding the cats and making it so we can play it on... The it's dragonfly. It's under you. It's under you. Oh, the black cat so, got two. Oh, no. <laughs> here, here, here. Um, Poor so, Atari. Uh, Steve. There you go. Because we played a game from Steve last episode. <laughs> the poor kid. For the 2600, his brand new game, which yeah. is updated actually today. Mm -hmm. Made a whole bunch of new updates to it based on our, our feedback of it. Or actually, uh, Darcy and my feedback because we played that. He said, Legend of Silver Peak is complete. 
in that you can follow the clues and beat the game, but some things are missing or incomplete in their implementation. It also takes a very long time to make progress. The game map is pretty massive, so we won't finish it today. Um, Legends of Silver Peak. Uh, below is known issues, known issues with the game. Uh, we'll go through that once we start um, the game. Um, so instructions from the Atari Age forums. Happy New Year. I've been working on an RPG title since October, and I thought I'd start off the new year by sharing my progress. It's a fairly expansive title with a large overworld with towns and dungeons to explore. Sorry. You want to get the bowl? Bowl cat? He, he likes laying and sleeping in the bowl, so we're hoping he gets in there today it's on, really cute. on camera. Yeah. Um, so let's load it up while I talk about it. We do, we do need to teach him to hit the bell, though. Yeah, that would be super He's not cute. quite there yet. He needs to start pulling his weight. <laughs> <laughs> Ring the bell. Ring the so bell. This takes a long time to load, because it's a big game. There we go. Mm. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Legend of Silver Peak. Very so nice. loading and erasing do not work, and that's a known thing. Mm. So we can't save the game. Um, just one playthrough, that's just it. Just one playthrough. Okay. Um, but the game's not done, so it's okay. Okay. Um, it's fairly, fairly, and there's no no sound, no music, so it's not that it's muted. Hmm. What needed to be changed to make it work on the Dragonfly? Good, good question for Carl G. Um, yes, the save key is, is planned for saving. Um, that's what he has uh, posted in the thread. Uh, and plenty of turn-based level grinding fun. Well, the game's basic objectives are in place and the game is playable. There's so much work to be done. I'm aware of a few minor issues here and there that need to be worked out. The most noticeable area that isn't complete is the planned boss battles in each dungeon. Some objects in the game don't do anything yet. Mm. How you level up and progress in the game will likely be changed. Tweaks in the graphics are my first attempt and may be changed. The battles at the beginning game are very easy. Later on, they're probably too difficult. Hundreds of hours of work have already gone into this already, and many design and gameplay choices were made based on compromises related to available hardware resources. Mm. Um, so go start. Go for it. You can start exploring. Uh, Wake up in your bed. Of course. I thought it would be a good time to take a short break from it, share my progress, and hopefully hear some feedback. Uh, saving and loading your ah. game uh, to the... so. The left, there's left and right buttons in this game that it uses. In the heart of the Midlothian forest lies the rod of life. Use my sword wisely, its magic will light your way. He knows not his own strength that hath not met adversity. Very nice. Yeah. So you've got your hit points in the bottom left. You've got your magic points gotcha. below it. You've got... Money. Money and... Score, I'm guessing? I don't know. Money? <laughs> More money? Actually, yeah. Or maybe it just sure appears twice in that screen. And if you press the right button, that'll go to your uh, inventory. Nice. So you got your level, experience points, and the right, your strength, intelligent, dexterity, vitality. I'm smart. That's good. I like that. <laughs> I'm guessing those are rolled for you automatically. And then you have your items. Mm-hmm. And I'm guessing those just increase, like your sword strength, your shield, your armor. Um, don't click on those. I'm not. I'm just seeing. So the red I'm one doing. increases your hit points. Yeah. If you're low on hit points. The blue gotcha. vial increases your magic points. And that makes sense. So load and save do absolutely nothing. Straight I've already tested forward. them. Straight Nice. Yeah. Um, How do I get back? I just hit the button again. Uh, yeah. Right button. I think. Hmm. There we go. All right. Yeah. Is there a search? No. No, this left is kind of the search. The, I don't think it does anything at this moment. Oh, the but left I've only one. played it a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. So it's more we're kind of exploring now. So there's... Ah! Oh, you're attacked. <laughs> this is very Ultima, this screen. Okay. Press fire to attack oh. bat. Killed snake. So you can... You're in fight mode. Yeah. So if you keep pressing the left button, it'll just keep fighting, 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 hit, 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 hit. Yeah. To change, to run, parry, or use an item, you use the right button. Um, an item you would be using like, oh, I need health, or I need more magic. Gotcha. And you can run away. I'm not going to run away, but I will. Yeah. 
So like you said, it's very easy to defeat the enemies. So the NPC hit point is six. Um, damage you've done to them, I'm guessing, is zero. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So you've got one left, warrior. Oh, oh. He has nine that? hit points left. You hit him, you missed him. Missed. Hit. He's got one hit point left. Yeah, victory! One gold? Oh. What happened there? 8W019. <laughs> Something funny happened there. Yeah. It corrects itself, though. It's a work of Very nice. nice. Um, the game is around 512k, and that is currently using, and is currently using around 280 of that space. In emulation, you'll have to use MAME Master A700 while using the Atari Vox aren't supported in those emulators. You can use MAME save states. Um, anytime you're not in the middle of a battle, you can press the right fire button to bring up a detailed status screen. There you can save the game, uh, use an item in your inventory, or see your location in the overworld map. So there was a map. If you go to the, press the right button again. Oh. So it's, oh, so that's like the whole world? I guess that's the whole world. Gotcha. Well, we'll find out if, if you can gotcha. go even lower. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I'm at the top. So, oh, so it's, okay. yeah, that makes sense. Because the left and right are mountains. They look yeah. impassable. And, there's... and the top is that... like water. No, no, nothing's killing me. Okay. Yep. Uh, so here's the story. You are our Azamar Wren, a simple woodsman from Mountain Home Grove, a beautiful patch of forest just east of the Silver Mountains. You set out from your homeland to reunite with your uncle after your father's death. Unfortunately, upon your arrival, your uncle is, uncle is nowhere to be found. A short note is left in the cabin. That's where you start. But it's not as helpful as it, you'd like it to be. You've heard of the war and how all the most virtuous crystals that were revered by the people of Mytho mid Lothia were captured and ca scattered into the deepest dungeons. Ooh. They are fiercely guarded. Oh my gosh. There. Oh. So you can either run into the sword. Oh my gosh, but I can't get my gold. Or you can press the button and it'll throw magic using the sword. <gasps> but the, those guys are really, really dumb and they just walk right into your sword. Fair enough. Yeah. I like that you get a mini-map without needing to use any gems, Nostalgic says. Yeah, I like that mini-map. It's kind of a really quick way to go, okay, I'm here, around this area. Uh, dead end. Oh, you can't run off the screen. So there's two sti- No, don't do that. You're just wasting your magic points. Ugh, okay, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Oh, you have to wait till your sword goes away? It takes a second, yeah. yeah. No, it's it's fine. I just yeah. It does take Until a second. Until you move. Uh, they're f they are fiercely guarded by powerful men who are determined to crush the will and spirit of the people. Without their beloved symbols of virtue, um, the crystals, uh, the entire realm has been taken over by mercer mercenaries and thieves, bent on taking whatever they can for their own selfish gain. No power or virtue of man could ever have deserved that. What has been fated should not have taken place. Feelings of hopelessness and misery abound, and no one has risen to the challenge of ridding the land of these thieves. Except for you. My gold goes away. Yep. It's randomly placed on the screen, I find. So uh, Yeah, but then you can't get you it. You can't get that. Ugh. In the open areas you can move, get it. Actually. Oh well. That's down here. Come on. You can do it. Oh, oh. Uh Oh, no one with good intent, that is. One powerful warrior who calls himself Nonag, whose mere presence strikes fear in the hearts of men, has spread his evil through the realm. He created the Crystal of Wrath, which serves as a beacon for those who serve his evil purposes. It must be captured and destroyed in order to bring peace, light, and life back to mid Midlothia. 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 The common people are waiting for a hero to emerge. Uh, once, once, who can vanish... One who can van re vanquish evil, recapture the crystals, and restore the rod of life. Only this man is wor or, or woman uh, is worthy of being crowned the next king of Midlothia. Uh, the great crisis produced great men and great deeds of courage. The Midlothia army is long disbanded with their tragic losses and lack of leadership. Hope is lost. Soldiers and citizens, soldiers are citizens of death's gray land, drawing no dividend from time's tomorrow. It is now up to Azamar to resort, 
restore uh, order to agree to the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of his homeland. And soon as sacrifice becomes a duty and necessity to mankind, there is no limit to the horizon which opens before him. It's time to fulfill your destiny. He says, I'll leave some additional details for later. Ooh, do I get Found to spend it. my money? Found a shop Ooh. with an E. No, Ooh. It's a marketplace. So you have 208 gold. Uh, Potions. So you can upgrade Ooh, your I armor. That. I don't have enough money for that yet. You can upgrade your... Those what are very that? dark. I know um, the, it's very hard to see the crosses in the... Uh, oh, and a ring. Very That's nice. a ring? Is yeah. that a... Every now and then during a screen trend just transition, I see a lot of R, 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 R. Yeah. yeah, it's still a work in progress. Lots of R's. <laughs> R's across the screen. Midlothian is in Texas or Scotland or Illinois, it appears. Oh, lots of Midlothian. I would have thought that would... I think you pressed to the right. There you go. Yeah. <gasps> I wasn't trying to buy them. I was trying to get out of it. Yeah, you have to press a button. I well, now, now I bought them. I have them. 10. Well, it's good. Those are hit points. You're down a little bit. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the, that's confusing. Yeah, the buttons and the movement is a little, a little confusing. Oh, well. But there's no instructions yet. Pirates prowl the spaces between the screens. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh. Phaser Cat Games. Arr. Okay. So you can ask to buy things at any point on the screen. Should be, <laughs> Should be nine. It Should be nine. That's a, that's a nine, I guess. Eh? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so that's where we buy the new oh, stuff. Desert. Can I walk in here? Just make my hands hot. <laughs> yeah, my you hands. lose hit points. My my, my um <laughs> your feet. feet I mean, you yeah. do look like you're barefooted. Well, same it's color hard to as your uh, hands. It looks like mushrooms. Magic mushrooms. Ah. Oh, fire to attack bat. Oh, pretty weak. Missed the bat. Missed the warrior. Hit the warrior. Dun dun dun. One gold. Oh. Now really? You have eight eight zero oh, oh, zero six eight. <sighs> no, you don't. I think that might need a oh. couple bugs. Kill that snake. Come Good on. animation of your character. Gold. And they kind of scattered the enemies around the it's screen. It's having a bit of trouble, but that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, lots of enemies in this area. Give me the golds. Give me the gold. I'm pretty sure there was a law in the 80s that required ships and RPGs to be captured from pirates. Those are the only people who have ships. Actually, in Ultima, you could buy a ship. Could you? But it cost a lot of money. It took, it took a while to get up to that level to be able to buy a ship. Oh, impassable mountains. Or, or passable. Empty lands. 21. You're still doing good. He did say it varies in the beginning. Oh, I'm in the mountains. Oh, in Am the I mountains. To be in the mountains. <laughs> oh, sure. Very nice. Oh, Tarius Maximus is here. Hey. Welcome. I haven't played it since 2018. Obviously, uh, a few other bugs that would need to be worked out. <laughs> it still plays well, though. I often play games on the show to encourage developers to continue <laughs> the development of the games. Oh, there's water. So I'm in the I'm in the mountains. Oh, cool. so like a little uh, lake in the middle of the mountains. Well, I don't know if it's a lake. Let's see if yeah, it ends. Kind of is a lake. Or is it uh, empty out to? No, it is a lake with a little uh, little dock there and go fishing on it. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Four? Slow, it's so slow. <laughs> well, they're low tier enemies. Oh, oh. It's hard for snakes to carry gold. <laughs> they have to carry it in their mouth and they have to put it down to fight and then they have to pick it back up again after they start That's moving. That's always the best thing about like Skyrim and those games where it's like. The wolves have the gold. The wolves have like gold in the their fur. The only explanation is that they've swallowed the gold. Yeah. <laughs> And, and after you, you're done, you yeah. gut them open, you yeah. dig around. Suddenly there's like a low level leather helmet <laughs> somehow in their in their innards, you know? <laughs> they must have be been wearing it. A really big wolf. I've seen dogs with cats. <laughs> Dire Do wolf. Dogs with hats on, on their head. <laughs> yeah. And I mean in this land, when you expect the enemies to swallow the gold. You would be opening them up every time you defeated one. Well, yeah, if you know it's there. You'd be like, I'm going to check, check, check for gold. Well, you're down to 16. Yeah. 
Probably don't need it yet, but... There we go. There you go. Oh, very powerful. The graphics are very nice. Of the, the mountains and the water. Oh, you can go swimming! I can swim? Oh, wow. Nice. No, I'm just walking. Just walking on water. <laughs> you are the second coming. <laughs> you are the chosen one. You can't exit the water, oh, but you, you can, can walk. walk on it. Nice. Maybe your feet have floaties on them and you're <laughs> walking on the water. Nice. That's awesome. So the, yeah. the dock allows you to get into the water to swim. It's a great world, though. The map looks great. Yes. I, I, I like, um, what was the character's name again? I've already forgotten. Uh, the character looks great, too. Oh, yeah, good uh, walking animation. Oh, tiny little forest. Uh, the person's name is... Asimar. Asimar, okay. Kind of like asthma. Ooh, what is this? Whirlpool, Ooh. like in Ultima. Don't take your ship down there. Oh, Ooh. somebody who does not want to be found. <laughs> Ooh. Who is this? Is it another person who sells wares? I don't know. Let's see. Walk through them. I knew someday you would arrive seeking the path to virtue. Mm. I, uh, it's my last memory is of a stroll through the North Woods. Mm. So something is uh, in the North Woods there. Mm. Okay. No, no, just reading what's in the okay. chat. Let's see. I don't know if you can search any. Oh, you walked through a wall. Did I? No. I went through a door. I just remembered Moon Gates. I haven't played Ultima in forever. Path to Virtue, you say. No, you walked through that wall. No, I didn't. I you walked did. through the door. Nope, go to the left a bit. No. There, down, down. Oh, through the wall. it's not. <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, what's up there? I don't know. That's something sneaky. Uh, uh, oh, no. 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 Hmm. Love it. It's great. Yeah, the moon gates are very interesting. I don't know if you played Ultima at all. I didn't. I didn't. I hear so many references to it, but I just I've never played it. It's the first big, like awesome RPG. RPG. Like, so yeah. expansive. I played Star Tropics on the NES. I, <laughs> That's I later. I, I'm um, just kidding. What's that? Oh, nothing. Know. Oh, it's the side of the mountain. Um, moon gates, like, you would be told, oh, go to this location when the moons are in this phase. Yeah. And things would appear. And they'd be moon gates. And they would be teleporters to other places that you couldn't walk to or take a ship to. Teleporters, Sometimes yeah. they were surrounded Smart. by mountains, so nice. you couldn't actually get to them. Nice. Yeah, it was really cool. Did uh, You did show a key in your inventory? But I, I, it, was, it was there at the beginning. Was it? So it must be to your house or something, because it was... it was No, it was there on the first screen. Because there is a key that you do get. Oh, by the house there was a secret. What? Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. Go back. Okay, back to okay. the house. Oh, it's a castle. I know. I was <laughs> going to check out the castle. We can go back to the house. Okay, we'll go to the castle first because we're here. Jeez. <laughs> like, oh, go back. Go back. Oh. Oh, hello. Great crisis produce great men and great deeds of courage. Okay. Wise words. Oh, big. It's the drawbridge big path. the bridge. Oh, Ooh. no, it's the castle. It's the whole castle. It's very sparse. They've lost all their stuff. Be gone, mortal. Thou must return when you are worthy of my presence. Oh, you got to upgrade. Upgrade first. All right. Need That's to kill it. more things, get more gold. Yeah. More gold. That person okay. lives very sparsely with their friend. Not even a thing, not even a throne to sit on. All right. Let's go back. Go back through the cacti. Past the magic mushrooms. Well, that's not a secret anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the secret? By the house, there is a secret. Is it here? By the house? He says by the house. No, not in the so house. So not in the house, by the house. Hmm. Can you walk on the water? I'll what see. if you go past the house using that... Um, Oh my goodness, that's that's crazy. <laughs> Was that the secret? Must be. 
Only those of greater, greater virtue. virtue may pass. So, you, so they're saying you do have some virtue. It's just not not. It's just enough. not a virtuous enough. <laughs> you, you, oh wow! Did that teleport you somewhere? No, no, no. I don't think so. Time, Time to, to donate, donate blood. blood. Yep, get that virtue up. Get those I gave blood stickers. Oh my God! Your hit points are out of eighty-nine. No, I I don't know what's going on there. Oh, there we go. It's twenty-three or twenty. Yeah, the numbers are a bit, a bit crazy. Yeah. No, it goes back to normal. Okay. Not sure where I am. I was watching a ma ad. Missed what you did. She walked on the water to the lower left of the house, and it just threw her into somewhere very different. It wasn't no, even it was, an area. No, it was. It was. Um... Go to the map. No, no, I, I'm in go, the mountains. No, but go to the map. I know, I'm in the mountains. I just showed it. Oh, okay. So it's in the same area. Yeah. Okay. I'm just down at the bottom of this now. So did it just send you to somewhere you could walk, or is this somewhere you could not walk? No, before? I, I don't think. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, okay. Well, that's unusual. So it's like a shortcut. I don't think that's the thing then, because you can walk here. Can I? Yeah. I don't think so. Can I walk back to it? That's where you need a character to tell you your progress in your virtues, yes. Yeah, what is my virtue? There it is. And then I came... Oh, no! It, it, it is a secret. It's like a teleportation kind of thing. Yeah. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Atarius Maximus missed it. I I don't know. Is it... Okay, so that was this. Yeah. Oh, oh can't get past. Can't get over that side. Really? I don't remember that being a problem before. Kitty. Just the cat? He's right here. No, the other cat. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Yeah. Where's the where's that house? It's well, I have to find it. I have to go back down again. There there are, I'm sure, some things I put there on purpose Meryl, that I've since Meryl, forgotten about. Meryl, that wasn't Meryl, what I was remembering Meryl, from that Meryl, screen. Meryl, oh Meryl, really? Meryl. Oh, that's funny. Anonymous Gifter gave Atari's Maximus a tier one sub. Yay! Yay! Thank, Thank you, Anonymous, Anonymous Gifter. He deserves it. For making an awesome game. This is the one that you went to the bridge. No. And walked on the water. Yep. Yeah. I've lost where my location was now. I think it was down this way. Oh, uh, yeah. Magic and mushrooms. <laughs> Very, there it is. And that was is. here, and then you would go across here. No, don't do it, because you no, just have I... to walk back. So, so what she did went in the bottom left, and walked left, and it went, don't do it. It can oh. go down, too. Oh, there we ah. go. Your soul alights with the flame of virtue. The key to wisdom is but a lock in Chetfast. Mm. Okay. Um, but she went left, and it just, like, tell, spit her out somewhere else. Nice. Flame of virtue. Woo, my virtue's gone up. Apparently. Or not. Move. <laughs> oh, that's the end of the game. Oh, well. Yay! You won! <laughs> I won! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That's okay. You can start over and try something else. Or maybe it just froze. That's okay. <laughs> well, you can go black and white. Very it's nice. not really frozen. Have a good night, the D-Train! Uh, we're going to have to start it again. It's okay. All right, it's Thank your you turn. Thank you for uh, following Exile in Mudville. Exile Just need in to Mudville. go to a lock. A lock for wisdom. Oh, what's... Oh, yeah, okay. We're okay. fine. Yeah, we've read all this. Let's power. <laughs> Tori Maximus, power don't, don't apologize. We knew it yeah. was a work in progress. <laughs> we know it's a work in progress. It's all good. It's pretty fun, I, I even with a couple of little uh, bugs here and there. So I should go back to that house. I love, I love the map is definitely there. Ooh. This is that different. That looks interesting. What is this? That looks like something, doesn't it? Oh, love it, Toko. It's a gathering of the cactuses. It the is. Cacti. Oh, cacti. whoa, what is whoa, this? Oh, this is a completely different area I haven't been to yet. This map is very big. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep going. Very south. big. Oh. Oh, there's the the. But I couldn't really do anything. You. No. No. Just tells you you don't have enough virtue. Yeah. Hi. What are you doing? What's up? Oh. Unless it's programmed yeah. in a way that you have to visit that person first and then go do the thing Sometimes and then come back. That always annoys me because. 
those are the ones where you get stuck and it's like yeah. oh no you have to go talk to someone in a certain order or find a person yeah and then go do it and then come back or talk to them twice right it's yeah. like oh you've talked to them now so i'll talk to this person so a stroll through the north woods we'll go there next you're gonna try to go through that thing again yeah i think uh, you should go down yeah so you can see there's a pathway down yes there. that's what you did yeah go but down but then it froze well we'll see if it freezes again no uh, you, you yeah oh it didn't move move quickly move oh there. there we go oh you're <gasps> oh no oh, what no. did you do No! Hit the other button. No, it just goes to inventory. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so no. I, th I think I was moving down while it was flickering the screen, which, oh. let, which let me go down into the trees. But maybe you shouldn't have gone down. No, I shouldn't have. Okay. We'll do that again. Looks like the chasm at the beginning of Mist. You would know that. It's been a while since I played <laughs> Mist. Okay, so let's do that again. I did play abduction. That was very good. <laughs> so that lesson was... here is not to be virtuous. Being virtuous breaks the game. Mm. <laughs> not too virtuous. <laughs> not too Just virtuous. Just a little virtuous. You need a bit of virtue. Yeah. Just not too much. Because then people start going, oh, he's so virtuous. <laughs> it's, it's kind of annoying how yeah. virtuous they are. <laughs> I'm going to throw them into, the, into a tree they can't escape. I'm stuck on abduction. Yeah, abduction is a game you were supposed to get stuck on. I can't remember. Okay, let's do this again. Did I cheat on it? <laughs> By I, looking I, things I up? I generally don't. I try not to. I, I think I, I don't. I think there was one part I did have to look up, but I for the most part, it was pretty good. Okay. You go right, left. Oh. If you see You're moving up, no, it automatically moves me down. Oh. So I'm going to press up while I no, it's still moving me down. Down. Ah. It like started up around that blank area in the top left. Oh, but every time I press the button, you could see him go oh, like that. Something funny is going on there. And then unfortunately it ends up here. So we can't do that part right now. Mm. I remember doing something with a beam and a minecart. We can't recall if I completed that or what. Oh, the beam and the minecart, because you have to get the minecart out because the laser blocks it. Oh, I remember you playing that part, I think. It took me a while to figure that one out, too, actually. It's the type of game you have to explore absolutely everything you can before you start fiddling around like, with things. Like, look at everything. Everything, yeah. Take note of it. Kind yeah. of go, oh, what's that for? What's that for? But I don't remember too much of it now. I do remember that minecart and the laser. <laughs> oh. 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 Hello. Uh, there's a furry at the front gate. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Beckworth. Population 27. We're spinning our own fates. Good or evil, never to be undone. Mm. Oh. Okay. I don't know if the I don't know if Population that says that or if this Very guy nice. says that. Yeah, it's a nice small little town. Oh, who's this? Same same amount of money it costs. For all of them? Yeah, as, as the last oh, okay. one you went to. Can I get through here? Nope. Doesn't want you to go through there. And you can't really do anything because the button just interacts with whoever's, just the person. whoever's screen it is. Is there an alarm going off in your building? No, it was something outside, actually. Somebody backing up or I don't know. <laughs> Back it up, back it Although, up. Although uh, the fire alarm went off in the middle of the night, and I at five a.m. at five a.m. and James and I said to James, I said, "No, it's smoke outside." Alarm. Smoke alarm. Smoke alarm. It's outside. He's like, "No, that's in the house." Because <laughs> when you're sleepy, like, oh. you're like, "What is that? What's yeah. going on?" So I go upstairs. There's nothing. There's no smell. <laughs> There's nothing going on. Brave men go forward, not expecting to return. If it is glory you seek, use this key, Ooh, key. wisely, Azamar, and take the North Mountain Pass to Kaktovik. North Mountain Pass. There will be, uh, there will, there will you find the honor you desire. Mm. Honor and virtue. Oh boy, there's, there's a lot. lots of things to, to get and... Very high standards. Very nice. high oh, standards. Another person. Oh, nice. Oh, you have to go right up to them. 
Nope. They're blue. They are frozen. They have died. <laughs> there is too, there that's a door? They're too cold. Oh. oh. Yep. Oh. What is it? The castle oh, ramparts? Uh yeah. Oh. Oh. No, nope. just a fun little area to go in. Oh, a bed to sleep in. Be careful it's not a carbon monoxide alarm. No, oh, we, we have, have we one. have one of the, we have actually multiple alarms in this house because <laughs> there's like an electrical there's a um a wired there's a wired fire heat alarm system that yeah. is attached to uh, sprinklers and we have a smoke alarm and a, a carbon monoxide so an alarm goes off you're going what the heck's going on and a house alarm and a house alarm so it's like what got lots of alarms which alarm is going <laughs> off but it was the upstairs smoke alarm but it wasn't going off like beep 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 it was going like one two three one two three yeah. so it was doing it something a, it, 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 it wasn't a crazy one it was no like, and i think that's what confused me i thought it was it like a car a, outside it wasn't a battery one either it yeah. wasn't like oh i'm low on batteries so this is this is our mystery right now is the mystery of of the alarm that went off at 5 a.m i blame the cats i think the black cat did something no i not, don't know what but low battery is like a, a a seldom chirp it's right? like beep beep where you're like what was that yeah. Where is that? Which yeah. one was that? And it that? goes on for days. This one was like... <laughs> dee -dee 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 yeah, something. it was a very odd alarm. I don't know what that was about. So talk Maybe to that it was person. a carbon monoxide alarm. I don't know. That we don't know we have. So I'm not going to yeah. do any of those things there. Yeah. I'm going to go north now that I have... Try the, the right side of the, the screen. Oh, of this, of this, this screen? screen? Like... Or at the... I, which screen? It just popped up. Previous one? Oh, there. There we go. Oh, Lots of secrets. Oh, look at this. Many secret... Pa oh, cause look at the dots. Yeah. They're more group ah. there. <gasps> oh, whirlpool. Whirlpool. Of course, I'm good. I'm going to go here first. Yeah, of course, it's a whirlpool. Do, 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 do. <gasps> oh, Whoa. what is this? Whoa, I got attacked immediately. They... Kill, kill, kill. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh, what is this? <gasps> very uh, Zelda-ish. I feel like I'm in an old uh, green uh, CRT. Or Game Boy. Game Boy, yes. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Dear Pocock, Google says it means it failed a self-test and needs to be replaced. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, Beer Pocock. Because we've never heard it before. so It, it was very odd. I'll have to look at the expiry date on it. It might be. Be it done. might be due. It might be due. Yeah. Probably, probably says 2023. Yeah. Holy Game Boy. Oh, it's great. Nice. Oh, One dear. of the dungeons. Gotcha. Nice. It's, a secret dungeon. It's the Game Boy dungeon. Oh, look at all that gobbledygook. Oh. <laughs> Need to. Uh, oh, it's get a maze. Out, get out the manual and. Uh, it's a maze. Oh, oh, there we go. It is a maze. Wow. Find your way around. I love mazes. Oh, that's a dead end. Is it? No. Or is it? Maybe there's something there. I briefly played the... Oh, my God. So many... Oh, 18? Yep. No. You, you so many attacks. Potions, right? Yeah. Yeah. We need gold. Where does magic come Dungeon into play, gold. though? You, well, you... Other than that... The... Um, so, it's... You other can than throw the overworld. it at the overworld, yeah. When they're attacking you. Yeah. Well, you can... Oh, I see there's no... Yeah, there's no magic in this... In this fighting. No, no. I don't think so. Um, must be along this wall. It's a failed self-test. Okay. That's very good information. Thank you so much. I know we've replaced those um, smoke detectors at least once in the house. Since we've been here. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. So it's probably about due. Yeah. I like how it goes to the overworld. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. <laughs> RJ Helms, could it be a time to replace alarm? My carbon monoxide detector did that at 3 a.m. and it was terrifying. Of course it's 3 a.m., It's right? always 3 a.m. It's never at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's always, like, in the middle of the night. Why is that? <laughs> they have a self a self destruct timer that's like, is it between the hours of has, midnight and well, 5 a.m.? Has a light sensor. Has, I did, yes. has, has the light been off for five hours? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh... Uh, all my CO detectors hit end of life about a week of each other. Very annoying. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Each dungeon contains a crystal. Okay. Oh, the okay. plan was to have a boss fight in each one, but there is no boss right now, I okay. guess. Okay. That makes sense. I don't think there's any secret passages. 
Oh, I need two. Yeah, healthy. You can use an item in your... There you go. There we go. Good so job. it only takes one. Yep. Each is a full restore, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah it's up to 25. Yeah. Yeah, you are down to not 10, 8, Yeah, that's a bit like dangerous. That. That's, yeah. Did you go all the way to the right? That's where I came from. Okay. Is that a crystal? <laughs> uh, nothing here. Kind of a dead end again. Yeah. Let's see. Very not nice. Making These very much screens gold. look great. They do. It's like a downward of I really wide like angle yeah. perspective. But there's a lot of detail in the tiles and this and what you yet. have on the walls. Wait a second. It looks really good. Okay. Yeah. So I can go down to the right, but there's just nothing. Is there. that down down a level? Because there's no wall on the bottom there. See. <gasps> oh. <laughs> For the last enemy, it just goes to the overworld. Mm. And there's down. Is that a staircase? I'm gonna guess. Down? Looks kind of like a staircase. Staircase. Yeah. Oh, I bet this is it. Looks like. Nice. Looks like the way. Oh, oh, this looks special. Are those holes to fall in? Aye. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the middle one first. Oh, oh that oh. looks special. Oh, what you need to do is add in like. Things that shoot from the wall when you t when you walk over things like this. Mm. It just takes one health. Just trap. Just a yeah, trap. Yeah. Just a trap. Like one health. Just to be like, oh, yeah. I have to watch where That's I. That's a nice idea. Watch actually. where I walk. There is the crystal. <gasps> Loyalty to an unjust cause is a per perversion, perversion of, of honor. honor. No nag of Silver Peak must be stopped. Crush his wrath and restore order to. Midlothia, your virtue has opened the path. Very nice. So we're a little bit more virtuous next, now. Next person. Oh, that's staircase. Is that stairs? The stripey lines? Does um, that get you out somewhere? Fast exit? No, no. unfortunately not. Oh, I thought I might. It's not like uh, Skyrim. So now we have a one. <laughs> a rock. Uh, there's always a rock wall that opens up, right? Like, yes. oh, where's the. Where's the uh... So you don't have to trudge through the whole thing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It is very smart. The of them. fire that you have to click, and then the, yeah, the rock the wall opens, down. and then there's there's a, a small chest with a few items in there <laughs> That's right. on your on your uh, fast exit out. Yeah. That's right. Now was it down or the oh, left? I really want to play Skyrim again. Oh, it's so good. I miss. I I need a good RPG. No nag. No mm. nag. Yeah. <laughs> Ganon backwards. That's what it is. I just got it. Which is a uh, Legends of Zelda reference, which I've not played, Ganon. but I know enough. Oh, yeah, okay. That that's what it is. Yep. I st actually, I still haven't finished Breath of the Wild, so I should probably do that. I'm really good at playing is RPGs, but... Not completely finishing them? Well, not completely finishing them, because I Come always on. feel Come like... On. Well, on. I don't want to miss something, and if you complete the final quest, then you miss going back to do other ones. So I have a lot of RPGs where I'm, like, right at the edge of completing them. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And then I get sick of doing oh. all the side quests. <laughs> and then I put it down for a oh. while. Oh, I'm attacked as I attack twice as I go out the door. I just don't want to stop. I'm having so much fun. There we go. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I wonder That's if that other cavern. Uh, go to the go to the, down and to the left. No. Or do you need do you need po oh. potions? Oh, I see. That takes me out. Yeah. Okay. So take go go to the left. Deep, deep, deep. Did that work for you? That worked. There. Now that go one. to that one. Because I'm. Am I worthy? Was that now? Silver Peak? I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. See, I was paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely decorated. Nice. These look so good. And this was completely made 100% by Atarius Maximus. That's so good. The, Atarius, the, like way to go. The game, the, the graph. Um, oh, that was an easy one. The graphics and the and the. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> Animation, the fighting, everything's um, top notch in this. What was I going to say? Seven eight hundred. Well, maybe that's your boss, right? That's it's supposed to be your boss for that. It says, "Oh, you need to defeat." Oh. What's his name? <laughs> uh, the crystal of glory um, is yours. You notice an inscription on the ground. A crown is no cure for a headache in the heat of the sun. Sure. <laughs> so a crown does not help you. No, but it sure does look. When pretty. there is trouble, yes, it does. It doesn't hurt. Weighs you down. 
That was a lot easier to, to get through than uh, the last one. Mm. But you have to earn your way mm -hmm. to get this one. If Tanya wants a good RPG, you could set her up with Ultima 4. It's even free. free. Oh, is it? Really. Ah. It is very, very good. Ultima 4, yeah. Yes. What uh, what, I, what year ish era did it come out, Ultima 4? Late 80s? Late 80s? No, no. I played it pretty early. So, yeah, okay. yeah, maybe 80. Six or seven. The clues all made sense when I was writing them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good one. Um, you do have to write down a lot of stuff. It's old school. Yeah. Because it's not. There's no journal. There's no diary. If you just stand around, you get attacked. Yeah. Oh my god. Eighteen. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a bad area. Yeah, it's a rough area town. It is. Find someone to buy some more potions, maybe. Oh, well, I've got lots of potions. Do you? Oh. I do need to use one though. So. Uh. Fourteen. Yeah, I would use it just to be on the safe side. I do like how fast you can get through a fight in this game. It's like if you want to fight and you're confident, you go boom, 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 yeah. you're good. Well, um, still not have much money. Oh, hello. Note. Well, that's is this your house. my house? Yeah. Oh, it is. Welcome okay. back to your house. We'll go to oh, the. Oh, your right. health. Your health is up. Oh, d or you took it. Sorry, you did take a. I did. Yeah. Yeah. You can see how hard it is to play yeah. test the game at uh, this large. I honestly got overwhelmed with the scope of it when I stopped development. I can see. Like, this, it's huge. It is huge. And there's so many things that can go on in it. But I've definitely found, we've found a, a number of things. Yeah. Probably lots of be noted. Uh, little bugs to fix along the way when you they're have just, this many screens, you yeah. know? And they're just tiny bugs. Like, they're oh, not yeah. game-breaking. Well, one was. Yeah. But all the rest for them are just, like, display bugs yeah. or you know, small things, like um, graphical issues. Can you walk into the water? No. Not in this one. The other one you could. You can. Uh -huh. Oh! Run into my sword. Did you get gold? Oh, you can no, you not No, I didn't get right? gold. Oh, there you go. Not till your sword goes away. Yeah. Let's keep going to the right. Yeah. And that is it. Oh, you have to... You have to go around. It is. Another maze. Around the graveyard. I don't know if there's anything in the graveyard. Walk into into my sword. Not getting gold there either. Hmm. Yeah, it's not giving me any gold this time. You can walk to the trees, but do not disrespect. Oh, there's one. I've yet reach. to pick out gold. <laughs> pick up gold. Always ends up out of my ah. reach. Down. No. Oh, no. You have to keep going down. End, so I have to keep going down some more. Yeah. You have to go out, out and around. <laughs> I really don't remember how this graveyard fits into the story. <laughs> like, it's kind of a maze, so I'm guessing that there's some. You have to find a way through the maze. Well, you to... probably have to do a number of dungeons, right? Can't get in there. Yeah. To, uh, could, to, uh. to regain all your virtue. And... Uh. Oh, there's very dark yeah. brown crosses. Yeah, there are crosses in there. I mean, there's bright lights in our eyes, so I don't know if you guys can see the. They're, they're not very... Oh, yeah, you can you kind can of see, see them. them. They're just really, really faint. Yep. Okay, so nothing up there. Um, we can't go through the crosses. That's um, what's blocking me. So this yeah. is the last... You know, unless one of these is like a teleporter something. or something. So no, I guess the graveyard's just like... Here's a graveyard. Down? I haven't been down there down. yet. So there No, go. I haven't. Now you okay. can sneak... Oh, Die. get him. Oh, maybe I can get that gold. Maybe. Nope. Almost. <laughs> Before the skeleton dies, he goes, Chuck! Throws, throws the gold far away from him and you. Mm -mm. What? To the right? Can you go to the right? No. No, you can't. Oh, wait for this skeleton to uh, make his way through the fence that I can't go through. Yeah, interesting. I, don't so think, I think, think that's you can the go end of the there. graveyard. Maybe you have to. That's it. Huh. Ah! That one I can get. Yay! Hey! Oh, that was a nice chunk of gold. It's actually better than fighting. Yeah. Maybe I should just stay in the graveyard. Oh, you have to get the gold, though. Can you? Oh, oh I got that one. You got it. Oh, it's all about the gold. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Need a nice open graveyard area. Yeah, no kidding. This one's pretty open. Yeah. Okay, so I think so that's the full graveyard. So to the left, the if you go to, yeah, if you go 
Oh. So that's the person Ooh, you can two. buy stuff from. Uh, 292. Takes a little while. Wow. Armor, 1250. Not even close. Whoa. Not even close. Can get a couple more red uh, potions, though. Uh, or not. I've got lots. Okay. I've got lots. I want to save up. Okay. So let's keep going around the graveyard. How many spaces on the save key does a file oh, take up? Oh, you can walk through that. Yep. Oh my goodness. It's just small little bushes, not oh. full trees, I guess. So you can get around it. Just walking there on. There you oh. go. Oh, now you can in go here up. Yet. I was like figuring out. No, nothing. No. So probably nothing. Around. Down and around. We got to see the whole graveyard. Make sure there's nothing on it. Still going. Anything here? No. Nope. There's stuff up that. Oh, get him. Can't move. Unobtainium. Ah! <laughs> oh, still on. Oh. There you go. Now made it to the other side. Now you can go down the right hand side. Yep. Nothing there. Okay, the graveyard is nothing, apparently. Except for that. That single tomb. tree in the full section is sus, or that grave at the end of the maze. Yeah, nothing, no secret entrances as far as we could tell. I mean, I didn't touch everything. No. Oh, oh, this looks secretive. This does. looks... This looks... looks uh, like a little grove. Let's go down. That's... Oh, oh, that's the town you are at before? I... I think so. think so. Oh, oh, oh there's there? another one. Is there? there? No. Yeah, it's oh, very it's hidden. Oh, it's there. Oh, no, no, your virtue isn't... Not good enough. High enough. Level three. Come on. <laughs> Not good enough, eh? Got to do some more quests before I go to the northeastern. I think that's the boss fight at oh. those. Oh, you, know, you can go down. Oh, no, you no, already that did. Was a Sorry. Dead end. Yeah, you're right. Magic mushrooms. Yum, 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 yum. I think your magic level should go up, but your health should go down. That's what I think when you walk through the magic mushrooms. Oh, <laughs> that's, that, that would be a funny um, temporary effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, when you are when you drink um, uh, beer or um, ale right. in The your Witcher or up. any of those games, really, where, you know, one one stat goes up and your, your uh, agility go goes down. <laughs> yeah, I did go here. Oh no! Did you talk to everyone in there? Oh, this, there was a guy there before. Yeah, this is Tattershall. No, it it it's oh, a uh, population one. of forty forty three. The other one was a population of twenty seven. Very different. Okay. There's a door there. Oh. I have to make sure I look oh, everywhere all outside. All the stuffs. Oh, oh. Everywhere. Oh. You always make sure that this isn't a maze that you can get through too. It's mm. not. Oh, <gasps> see. What is this? The button. Can't do anything. It's nothing. Placeholder. Nothing there. Oh, there's a person. Men trust their ears less than their eyes. Use this key to bear witness to trust in its truest form and restore my faith in the spirit of Midlothia. So, now I have... No. It doesn't show a key. But... Thank you for resubscribing, Ricardo Pim! Yay! Yay. A loyal subscriber. Glad you continue to enjoy yes. what we do. Oh, what's this? Nope, that's the exit. Let's go around the other side. That's what you always do in the Ultimas. Oh, see, look at that. What is that? Something on a pedestal. Nothing. Decoration. Just decoration. Placeholder. Cataclysm DDA roguelike has an hallucination effect, and sometimes you, you see, see Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf <laughs> stalking you in the nice. woods. <laughs> oh, oh, there we there's go. there's someone. Uh, oh no, that's casually of, sitting at the top. That's part of the castle. Still, that's cool. So now I go in the castle. I love it. So at least one person in the castle. So just not, just, as far as I know, you can't like interact search with things, things yeah. or interact with anything. It's just people and like signs. But you can be anywhere 
mm. on the map to press the button. Maybe you can't. Like, I can't. No, it's sectioned off. Nope, oh, nope. That person. Nothing. Okay, watch this. There's another bug. I did play this a little okay. bit. Okay. If you go to your inventory, then go back, his pants change color. Who's? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it recolors the green? part of the screen. Oh, that's funny. Because I guess it doesn't initialize something. Nothing. Nothing here. I don't know if this is the color it's supposed to be, or or if what, or the what it was before, which is a little more and muted. And this changes it. I don't know. Oh, that's funny. It's just something funny. Yeah, that is funny. It's a person. It's just a background, background graphic. But still, yeah. Yeah. It's, they're just casually hanging out. Yeah, it's just hanging out, not bothering anyone. Empty room. Okay. So maybe he was meant to be wearing the angry pants. You're right, James. It's just a transition screen that sets the color incorrectly when changing back. Ah, right. okay. So it doesn't know to was redraw it. Was there everything with... to the right? Did you... Yeah, I, I went everywhere. You would all There's to the right? There's nothing there. Yeah, okay. Exit here, and we'll search a little bit more mm -hmm. for anything different. Oh. Did I mess up? How do I get out of here? What? Up, up. Did I come to the from in the right? Yeah, th uh, from the left, I thought. Oh, there it is. There we go. Nice. Population, 42, 3 again. Yeah. <laughs> it went up to 44 temporarily. But not really, because they wouldn't count temporary visitors as population. If you don't live there, no, no, it would be uh, usually it's a residence. Census. Yeah, yeah. I take a census. No, I've yeah, gone down. Or did I, I don't come think from so. down? No. no. Where are those forty-three people? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're they, all out in the woods looking they, for magic. Exactly, mushrooms. they can be out. Yeah. Oh, oh, I found something. <gasps> oh. Am I allowed to go in here? Yay! <gasps> or is this? No, you haven't been here yet. Okay. Ooh, I love the tiles. It gives a very three D a look I like to it. A lot, it. yeah. The vertical and horizontal. I'm gonna watch my hit points. Good job. Oh my god, so many bugs! Like bugs that attack me, not bugs that wreck the game. Okay, let's do up first. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Oh, the one on the end. Yep. Gotta look for the things that are different. <laughs> yep. All those kids shows that taught you what is different, or are those one of these things is not, not like, like the other. other. There's one of these things is not the same. <laughs> ah, there's nothing in this room. When I was when I was fooling around with this, this is the dungeon I went into. That's a bit of a bug there. The last the last guy is a spider. It takes you to the overworld. It does that a couple of times, I've noticed, in the um, fights. Yeah. Yeah. They're all sitting in that one <laughs> yeah. chair, all on top of each other. And nothing. What, what show is that from? I'm pretty sure that's Sesame Street. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's Sesame Street. I'm pretty sure. I like... We're talking 70s, 70s, 80s Sesame Street, I like, I'm pretty sure. I like this edition. Uh, I'll show you. Okay. When you go... And stop being attacked. If you walk into a block or something... Yeah. I think it's only horizontal. Yeah. And it's like you're halfway up the block, it'll automatically move you up. Oh, it'll push you up and down. That's nice. So nice. Yeah. It doesn't do it vertically, though. Well, you can walk right through. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> But it does do it horizontally. Really nice. Did you go all the way down to the bottom? Yep. Okay. Uh, that, yes, I did. I thought you had, you missed the door, but I'm... Maze, maze, maze. Is there a... No, <laughs> no overview of the maze of no, the places you've No, no uh, internal, internal. Oh, this uh, looks no. good. This looks right. This looks different. I'm gonna get that gem and get worthy. What? Or is it a gray gem? Have I been here? 
Nope. Yay! Give your voice. Nearly all men can stand adversity. To test a man's character, give him power. S yes. Seek word Sefmond of the Great Lakes of Chetfast for the path to virtue. Great Lakes. You now possess the cur Crystal of Courage. Woo, Crystal of Courage. Ah, thanks to Mike Sarna for that little movement trick. It helps not getting hung up on objects. It's nice because Very a nice. lot of games do that. It's like, oh, I'm stuck on every corner. Yeah. Every corner. Yeah, it's a really nice addition to movement. I guess it says, oh, you're halfway up the thing mm. that you're trying to get around. So keep keep moving up because you can't move to the right or left. Still have not enough gold. Yeah, it takes a while. <laughs> do I have to go down? I think I do have to go down. more health at some point. It's only 15. 15. Maybe when you hit the half point. Oh yeah, this is the way. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Nostalgic 26. I was actually surprised when you fired this up and your character wasn't moving in tile-sized steps like Ultima. It is nice. I, I do like the uh, this movement. The very nice. Yeah. Uh, I think it's... Yes. Yeah. Because a lot of these are tile-based, which I like tile-based too, because that then it really becomes... Nice polish, that movement trick. Yeah. It yep, becomes yep, it yep. more um, strategic. Yeah. And it's a tile base. I would game? Uh, maybe heal because you're half. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 12. Thank you. I mean, probably not going to drop too low. How will you get to the Great Lakes to find them? <laughs> Do you go up the St. Lawrence River? In my canoe? Uh, Portage across the, the, the land? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got a log drive. Oh, if there's logs in the way, I'll Burning carry them down and down white water. <laughs> carry the, the canoe on my head. That's where she learns to step lightly. <laughs> you have to be Canadian to know that one, though. Yep. Uh, is this the... Uh, oh, <laughs> nice. Attack just one second attacked before. Attacked as you walk in. Oh, it's just a marketplace. It's the marketplace, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, should I go back up to that other one? Because now I'm, I've got oh. something new. Uh, you can try it. Yeah, to the last dungeon. Maybe. That I saw. But it was the lakes. You have to go to the lakes. That wasn't by a lake. Oh. So. Oh, every tower collections. <laughs> I was hoping the next game would be started by now that he's. Now we're having too go. much fun with this one. We are having fun with this one. Have a good evening. I have a good evening, ITC. Melancholy Baby next. I don't know that song. <laughs> What's Melancholy, Melancholy Baby? <laughs> no, I can't get always oh, around and up. It was around and up. The Great Lakes. Isn't that where we went and found that guy already? Like we already went to that no, guy. No, uh, I, I think the guy in the there, lake. There was there's a bunch of lakes though. There's okay. more than one lake. I don't know. I don't know Melancholy Baby either. No. <laughs> There's a river. I assume it's probably one I do know. I just... There's oh. a bridge to nowhere. Interesting. There's a little dock. We haven't been here. It's a very big map. It's huge. It's surrounding something. You click the uh, map button. Where are you? Oh, you're down at very the bottom south. there. Oh, can't, can't get in there. The dead boatman of Lake Erie will take you across for a drachma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in my boxers. <laughs> in some shorts. <laughs> hey, I'm on an island. Does it look like I'm in my boxers? No. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> uh, okay. Nope, nothing there. So chill tonight. Have Very I been chill. there? To this castle? I don't think so. Great crisis. Produce great men and great deeds of courage. Oh, well, yeah, maybe we have. You did? No, this looks different, though. No, it was just the guy by himself, but he said you weren't worthy, but I've done more, so... Oh, may the light of virtue always define your path. Did you get some? Treat time. It's treat yum, time. Yum, yum, we got yum. treat time. Ooh, treat time. This treat is what time. virtue gives you. That's yeah. right. Gives you treat time for kitties. Kitty treat time. So... 
black kitten. Are you gonna try? Are you gonna try? Try to ring it. I'm gonna try and ring the bell. I don't think it's gonna work. But ring here. it. Come here. Come here. Can you ring that bell? Come here, kitten. I have to put a treat on it. Here, kitten. Here. Can you smell it? Smell it. It's on it. Not you, not you, not you. Give him a chance. Oh, well, he'll eat the treat. <laughs> eat the treat. I don't think so. That That's no Lord British. <laughs> oh, uh, Tyrus Maximus needs to sign off. Uh, need to take care of a few family things. All it's right. bedtime for one of my kids. Thanks again for playing my games tonight. I may be able to join back in later. All right. Hopefully, Thank you for joining we're, us. We're going to be playing uh, your other game. Yeah. Come on, little kitten. Come on, you can do it. You Who, can do it. Oh, Rendered Ghost gave there the treats to the cats. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Good kitty. Oh, move that bar actually. It's off screen. Come on, black cat. You can Come ring on. it. Ring it. Press the button. Press it. It's like, no, I'll stretch instead. You have to ding it and feed and ding, and so they have to make the association. But yes. There you go. <laughs> nope. Atari's so good at that. Yeah. That's for you. Oh, no, you have to feed the black cat first. No, it's the opposite. He has to see that uh, Atari gets it. Oh. Good kitty. <laughs> He's so good go. at it. Why aren't you giving the black cat? Hit the bell, black cat. Are you trying to train him? Well, I don't know if it's going to work. Kitten, kitten. Hit the bell. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it with your paw. Can you do that? Can you hit it? Hit He's it. thinking. His brain is like, hmm, hmm. Where's the treat? Do you hmm. see? See, watch the gray oh, cat. Almost. He was almost thinking about it. He was lifted. He lifted up his paw. Come on. He says, I love you, Grey Cat. Please give me treat. Okay. We're not even watching. Good kitty. One for you. I'll give you one. Because, oh. <laughs> there you go. Good kitty. <laughs> I like Tanya's strategy. <laughs> Thank you for following Teleprompter 312. Glad you are enjoying the cat feeding. <laughs> <laughs> and the gaming. Aww. Mostly the cat feeding. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Try it. No, he found he's it, purring. Found a bit. Oh my goodness, he's, he's purring. He's so happy. He's like, there's treats. Purr, purr, purr. Purr, purr. Hit it, hit it. Try it. <gasps> almost. Oh, almost. Oh, good kitty. Come on. Do it. Good kitty. Okay, we'll good take kitty. It. We'll take it. Good kitty. Good kitty. Here, give you one too. Okay. Come on. Try it. Do it again. Do it. Try it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Do it. Doesn't quite get it. Pot. Come on. Come on. Backing up. He's like, oh, the bell rang. Where's the Where's the treat? <laughs> oh, they're done. They're done. No, 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 no. I've got two more. Let him try one more time. Try it. Ding it. Come on. Come on. It's your paw. He is purring up a storm, too. Come on. Watch the gray cat. There you go. Good kitty. Here's one didn't for you. Watch There's him. one for you. I didn't watch him. He'll get it. Is it done? Good kitties, yes. Good Okay. <sighs> we'll so get him there. We got the blessing of Lord British. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. Still level three. Still no money. Very stingy game. <laughs> Very stingy. Uh, that red you can walk right through. Oh, what? It's oh, sand. it's desert. Okay. So you can. into this town. He'll get it after several treat times, I bet. Yes. We've been here. Yeah. Um, definitely have to Where let him go? see Atari get the treat and put two yes. and two together that the bell means means treat. Where do I need to go now? Help me. Uh, Back to this. Oh, go up because there's... This other one that yeah, could go. we not go in it before? Is that the one we couldn't go in? No, that was one at the very top. Top right. It's the only one yeah, we can't go in but, yet. Um there's there's all these lakes here, so I assumed I don't know. The lake had something to do with it. Mm, not that lake. Hmm. Sprite says, what do you mean I'm supposed to hit the bell? I stand at attention and let Atari hit it, right? Exactly. Nostalgic is right. <laughs> That's what he does. He He's... actually rubs up against Atari going, thank you for the treats. making treats happen. Yeah. He's, he's behind me right now. 
Hi. Hi, little Sid Sprite. Da, 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 da. We've been in that one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure it's a completed game either, but, he said but there it was is. one. You can win it. Oh, you can uh, yeah. at the very, very top. Then maybe that is the last one. But I thought Could it said be. something about you like going a... to a lake. We well, we already went to that guy at the lake. Mm. Did I in this game go to that guy in the lake? Oh, what's that? We should do that anyway. You can't get through there. Yeah, you did. Like I talked to him. Yeah. I can't get through there. I think you've done that already. Let's make sure. I may have just gone there and not gone in because I was just messing around. So this is the old versus the young. Atari is long gone. <laughs> Sprite like, is still looking around the room. For treats? Like, is, there might be treats. There might be treats somewhere. He's like sniffing all around. Atari's like, it's over. It's over, yeah. <laughs> they don't give you more treats after you stop <laughs> ringing the bell. Just leave. Yeah, for at least half an hour. <laughs> it's not worth your time. I haven't quite figured out how long it is, but I know it's at least half an hour. <laughs> So we'll go to the guy uh, with on the dock uh, here. Atari is training Sprite to give him a hug before he'll ring the bell. We'll just talk to him, just to make sure. Yeah. Because there was, yeah, to the left and down, but you've done all that. Done all you've that. done that. So now it's just the last. So maybe there is something hidden. There? Nope. That the that. So if you walk oh, I can across. can still walk here. There, but it ends. Oh, oh. Oh, anything, anything? I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this. The appearance of treats means there's a greater than zero chance of future treats. Very true. <laughs> that is true. The probability of treats goes up because there were treats there before. Yes. But I can't walk on this stuff. Oh, I can, just not down. That's the edge of the map. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. Map edge. So I think I'm going to go for the last yeah. one because I don't, know of anything else yeah no one no one's done nip time yet so no that's very true so that's still to happen lakes where are the great lakes i think that guy is i think the great you lakes. think we did it out of order or yeah it's like people you can do different things in different order it would just be too tedious if you have to do them all in the exact mm. exact order because i've played games where somebody gives a hint and you're like i've done that Is that supposed to go all the way across? It, it, it just doesn't. Can you is... not get in there? Or is that the, the town? Oh, there we go. Oh, have you been in there before? I am, yeah. Oh, it's this, well, you can buy stuff. No, it, have you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, have I explored it's just everything? another. Maybe not. Hmm. Let's just explore everything. Look for anything Especially unusual. the south. That's unusual. Yeah, that you can, you can go through. That's unusual. Okay. That's different think oh but i can make it there okay meh <laughs> it's nothing is there anything more you can go up the river too can you or okay. no getting attacked by river beasts <laughs> river beasts no. no okay i mean it's a shortcut from that other area yes. i suppose I just have to make sure I look at all the places that I can't see from the outside. No, I've, I've seen them all now. You think so, yeah? Yeah. And you can't cross there? No. no. It's just a... It's a, a red herring. Red herring, yeah. yeah. What's in the middle? That That is the middle. No, what much. is... What is What is that? Is it that just a... That's the store. It's just a store. A very inconvenient store. And I still don't have anywhere near enough, and I'm, like, done the game almost. Yeah. <laughs> but he hasn't done game balancing. Yeah. And you need more gold. Way more gold and tougher enemies. He says it gets harder, but it they seem pretty really hasn't got even much harder. for all those. Oh, what's this? To no, the right? I've been here. Oh. And yeah. I think this is... I don't think this goes all the way up. I still have to go around and up to get to the last... Gotcha. Dungeon and, and that's not doing out of business. Yeah. He owns his store. He's doing his own thing. No, that is how you get to it. He doesn't. Oh nope. Ah, surprise! I gotta line that up. Ow. Small business. Oh, I owner. guess I just have to. Yeah, small business. Owner. Oh. But that's how you get the big money. You just actually this is the 
screen to hang around and kill those. Yeah. Because everything is open on this screen. That's very true. Unless you can it, actually get to all the gold. Unless it lands. If you move fast enough. What if you go often on the screen? Does that trigger yeah. the... Not immediately sometimes. It's just random. Just Maybe it stand is. Stand and... I wonder if you back yourself into a corner, like here. No, because he could attack from above, and then you'd be in the wrong angle. Mm -hmm. Like, just let it sit there for five hours while you accumulate gold. Oh, there we go. There's a better than nothing chance of if you're on this side, he will come get down it, horizontally. Get it, get it, get it. Oh! oh! No, it went up. It Did went it? up. Yep. Oh, God. Anyway, that's enough of that. Here we go. Enough of that. This is. Because the fights aren't dangerous enough to be like, oh, I gotta do some strategy in this fight. And... Nope. Okay. You're still missing something. Can you go to the right? No. It no. looks like you can. But... No. Okay. I think we're done. Okay. Because I would need to map this out. <laughs> yeah. To play it further. And he's not yeah. done it yet, anyway. So it's yeah. okay. Very so cool. we found a bunch of things that he can put on his list to um, fix up. Need a kitten. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I need a cat. Hi. But oh, very I know you're mad. Good. Very, very good start. I mean, it's almost done. Yeah. It's more than a start. So we're going to move on to the last game of the show, which is Death Merchant. This is from 2017. Ooh. Nice. Um, Come here. If anybody Come here. has played, oh. he's purring. Is he? This cat is so sweet. Like those games on the old BBSs where you buy and sell and trade things and get weapons and stuff. And it's all text-based. Yes. It's I... similar to that, but this okay. is graphics. It's got... Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a text-based game, but graphics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Nice to see an RPG on an Atari console. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Wonderful maps. Um, all the tiles and everything in the dungeons look amazing. Really good, really good yeah. job. Really yeah. good job fun, on that. Fun, fun, fun game. Death Merchant. I don't think there's okay. any music or sound in this game. This cat. Yep. Look at him. Oh, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. He puts his chin down on any surface that's near him when he's happy and, yeah. and sleepy. He just goes plop. Yeah. Very awesome, uh, very metal uh, <laughs> title screen. Oh, yeah. The big sickle right through the, the tea of death. And like the... So good. And the dripping into the brains like, of the it's almost flaming like, skull. Or like a stalactite growing up through the brain, the, yes. the, the skull or something. There. Welcome to the apocalypse. Oh, there is sound. Okay. Let's make sure it's up. Travel the land, trade survival gear, pay off your debt, try to survive in an unforgiving world. Sounds like life. <laughs> Fight for your life, watch your health and food supply, train to hone your fighting skills, rest when you need it. You have 31 days to roam the earth and make your... 31 days? Make your <laughs> fortune. Different. Press left fire to begin your journey. Look at that skull's eyes. Oh, yeah. Great font, too. Nice. Yeah, there's a bit of sound. All right. So, 31 days remaining. Uh, you have $5,000 in credits. <laughs> you have also $5,000 in debt. Yeah. So you borrowed that money. I like Metal Inner 7. Even in the apocalypse, you have to pay off <laughs> That's debt. Right. That's why well, it's the apocalypse, I guess. It's even more important in the apocalypse to pay off debt. <laughs> yeah. Because the person you borrowed it from... It's coming for you, so... Yeah. They'll just... Kill right. you and take what you've got. So you've got 25 knives, which are very important in this game. That is how you attack things. Okay. Um, health is 99. That's self-explanatory. Backpack, 50 out of 50. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, you own nothing. Wow. Uh, uh, food. 50? You own nothing, but you have knives. You have knives. You have health. You have a. You have 50 backpack. Is it full? 50? All those, uh... 50 of 50? Yes. Food I is think fifty and ninety nine. Stamina is ninety nine. So you need stamina. You Charisma. Need food. You're not. You're not very charming. No. Nope. Dexterity <laughs> also not, not very. You drop your knives all the time. <laughs> those things on the right hand side, you don't need those. I don't think. Okay. They're for trading and making money. Okay. Like buying them someplace low, and then taking them okay. to someplace where you can sell them high. So what? How do you know if it's low or high? You have to write it down. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Just. Keep track of a couple. 
Um, down at the bottom, you can buy or sell things. Uh, you can go to the bank to, I'm guessing, pay back your money. I don't know if you can withdraw more. Okay. But you already have 5,000, so that's fine. Um, stats? I guess there's more stats than this. Go to stats. Go down. Left fired a few stats. Oh, times trained, dexterity bonus, charisma bonus, gangs killed zero, days rested, bank transactions zero. Um, the rest is the same. New okay. Vegas. New Vegas. Uh, you can go to the doctor to heal yourself. I played this a little bit. You can okay. just automatically fight if you want to just go and find some people to fight. Rest, that's for your stamina. Okay. Uh, you could borrow... Lend. Oh, you know what? The bank is to deposit your money so people can't steal it. Ew. Um, train is, I guess you could bring up your dexterity. I don't know if you can train you for your charisma. So, um, let me read about this when, so the first thing you probably want to do is go to fight. Right, you're in new, actually go, first of all, go to travel so we can see all the cities. That's the best thing to do. So there are six cities, New Vegas, Los Angeles, New Salem, Concord, Diamond City, and Bedford. Uh, New Vegas is where the doctor is. So we're in New Vegas, so we want to kind of stick around there for now. Bedford is rest. Diamond City is a city. The only place you can rest is for Bedford. stamina is Bedford, and you can't fight when your stamina is zero. Okay. So Concord. Those other things are, I believe, Lender, just places. You training. Oh, okay. Bank, Banks. Doctor. So we're at the doctor right now. Um, bank. New Salem. So, okay. I want to train, actually. Well, I don't think you can, because I tried to click that before, and it wouldn't let oh, me do it. Oh, okay. Uh, press the oh, right. The right yeah. A merchant offers you a choice of items to buy. Uh, Backpack, 50 out of 50. Uh, credits, 5,000. You can buy... Oh, this is during your travels. You want to buy knives because you will run out. You press the wrong button. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Okay. Well, hopefully he'll come back. That is the only place to buy knives. And he rarely comes. Oh. Okay, so we are in New Salem now, so let's go to train. So watch when it says left and right because it's... A soldier offers you to train for 4,160. Yeah, mm. left to decline. His knife's training will boost your dexterity. Uh, right, uh, left to decline. Yeah, so we can just fight. Things will come up. Okay, criminal gang encounter. You have 25 knives. There's five criminals. Um, so you can exit, if you can. Right or you can fight. right to fight. And you've got lots of knives. And you've got lots of health and lots of stamina. So fight. So still five criminals? Or did it start with six? Five. Five. Okay. You lose one hit point. Lose one hit point. Killed, Killed one, one of them. Killed another one. Pathetic move. So you only have two left. Still have tons of health, tons of stamina, tons of knives. So okay. entire gang killed. One dexterity gained. You got $5,000 from killing them. What? And you got five knives. Wow. So, I would go back and pay off your debt. <laughs> if you want. Should I kill another one first? Yeah. So now you've got $12,000. Oh! So then you... Okay. So, go to the lender. Because I didn't... Uh... The bank? Uh, no, you want to pay off your debt, which is the lender. You travel down to Dusty Road. You found 10 rations of food. Yay! Okay, so go to the lender option. Left. Don't mess with me. Pay off. Okay. So, right and left to adjust. I would just pay it all off. Debt is at 60. Oh, your debt is increasing. Yeah. I paid off anyway. Insurance. Or not insurance. In interest. Interest, yeah. That's a lot of interest. Nice. Now you owe nothing. And you still have more money than you started with. Nice. I think you make a little bit too much money fighting people. Oh, 26 knives. Nice. Did your debt go up $900 in a day? It's a loan shark. Yeah. It's bad news. Nice. Nice. 
Nice! So you got 5,000 more dollars uh, already. Oh, five, five knives. So, you still have lots of knives. Still gonna fight. 28 knives. Health is at 90. So now we can, let's go train now, and see what that's about. The there you go. You found $2,200 on a corpse. Wow. Just, just These money These corpses lying around. have tons of money. All right. So now you have 28 days remaining. You've used up three of them. See, look how much more it is. Oh, what? Uh, let's do it. That's it. Yeah, oh, your dexterity went up by seven. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, but you still had lots of credits. Yeah, okay. fight again. Fight. Fight. Give me the go. Oh. Four criminals. He's closer to me now. I don't know if that makes any difference. Stabbed. Oh. Missed. Missed. Killed. Two left. One left. Oh, some more joined. Back up to three. Oh, four now. Three. Two. Oh, more. Stamina is going down something awful. Oh, you still have lots. It only goes down one. Still have 50 more rounds. Last one. It's always the That's same. That's it? It's After all those people? I might have to sleep. <laughs> I think that needs to be randomized more because it's always 5,000 credits, always five Every knives, time. and we've always one dexterity. Oh, sometimes you well, just have a bad fight. I actually I agree with the dexterity a bit. But actually, more characters you kill should make give mm. it give you more dexterity. Rest. Um, My stamina is low. Yeah, so you have to go to. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Travel, so travel first. The font looks like a great sort of zork. Yeah, it is a great font. I really, really like it. It's very reminiscent of that this type of game. Just nailed it. I suppose the apocalypse might have a r runaway inflation. <laughs> That's true. So you're at the rest? No. I was. Oh, okay. So you can go to the doctor area now? Because you can do everything. You can go to the bank and deposit some money. Oh, buy knives. Lots of them. Right to buy. Free items due to your charisma added to your Backpack, nice. Oh. What does the rope get me? Anything? I I don't know. Oh, you can buy a larger backpack. That's cool. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me read the instructions mm -hmm. for the rest of it. I mean, most of this is self-explanatory, but... Do I need food? I can't remember if I need food or anything. Oh, I don't know what your food's at. So... It doesn't list rope as anything, so you don't need it. It's just a thing to buy. Because rope is... See, so you own... How much did you buy the rope for? 500? Well, these guys are paying $8,000 See? For it. Uh, buy more rope. So sell rope now, uh, here, and then buy it from that guy. How do I... Go to the left, up, up. Left oh, fire. sell, sorry, sell, yeah. Uh, left or right for quantity. Uh, right fire confirms. <sighs> Just made so much money. <laughs> wow. GPS, the rope. Jeez. Yeah, pick That's up stuff. Crazy. Clothes is high. Oh, Tyrus Maximus is back. This is the death merchant screen. It's the most bug-filled part of the game. Buying and selling can cause issues here. Uh-oh. As long as it, you get more money, that's fine. <laughs> if the bug gives you more money, then that's great. Uh, so notes from Steve. Death Merchant is also very playable. However, some of the bugs make the game too easy, and a few features are just plain broken. Like the Death Merchant himself. Items you receive from him seem to break inventory management system. So, careful. Um... When the Death Merchant gives you free items, your backpack is still at 50 slots, and he will still give you over 50 items. If your backpack is still at 50 items max, the max val value to buy that's listed on the buy screen should say 50. A bit more minor. Uh, one, one time I went to the bank for a withdrawal, and the number started automatically counting down from 999,999. ,999. I left, came back, and it was normal. 
Another Death Merchant purchase issue again. I bought the backpack expansion and started buying canteens. The number left would count down by threes and I could seemingly buy as many as I wanted without the regard to the size of my backpack. I had $130,000 to spend. Ended up owning hundreds of items. <laughs> On another Death Merchant screen, I could buy as many knives as I wanted. Backpack space didn't matter. I was stuck at zero, but I could keep buying knives. My total cash would keep drawing. My stamina has increased, though. Stamina Still says up. 41. Oh, try it again. Oh, no, it's oh, after. Oh, it, it, okay. It does I'm it like, after that. Do it that. probably should do it on that screen. It would, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. So just the order of when things happen. Mm. Uh, there were 12 days remaining and I had earned $780,000. I think it's still too easy to make that much money. Maybe I'm being too generous with the handouts from the merchant. Your score will roll over at just on one under a million. So ideally the max amount you can earn in a single session should be less than that. Yes. So pretty good. Your stamina is high, your health's high, your knives are okay. I would buy a ton of knives next time. And the five, and we we're t saying before Atarius Maximus that the credit should vary when you attack gangs. Maybe by the number of gangs you kill. You get a knife for each gang member or something. Yeah, a knife. Yeah. The knives should vary as well. Possibly. Um, and the amount should vary based on how tough they were and how many you defeated. Maybe. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, sometimes it takes a really long time. Then all you get is five knives. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. This game has really nice completed label artwork by David Exton, which we're showing there. It's awesome. I'd like to revisit it and complete it. The artwork in the title screen is based on the logo of a heavy metal band of the same name. Perfect. I thought it was. We said it was very metal. So, and it was, like, really metal. <laughs> it would need to be changed prior to an Atari Age release on cartridge. I'll probably come up with the same thing based on David Exton's original art. Yeah, I mean, that... Uh, the skull on the A is really, really cool in David's artwork, so I think that would be awesome as the title screen. Yeah. Um, also, with 12 days remaining, I'd yet to have a single random enemy encounter. First random enemy encounter was seven days remaining. Maybe not a big deal. Mm. I don't want them to happen constantly. Mm. That's true. So how are you doing? You got $35,000. I mean, the debt Ooh, seems... Eight discarded knives. Very wow. nice. Are they rusty? So the point of this game is to make as much money as possible, because that's your score at the end. So you've got $15,000 in the bank. I'm guessing that all adds together at the end. I you put don't more have... in. I put more yeah. in. Yeah. You don't have to withdraw it oh, I to add it bank. to your score. I mean, the travel is when you run into people to buy stuff from, so you kind of just right. keep traveling around. Yeah. So let's go back to the new is it Los Angeles. And you can just sit and, oh, you're going to deposit some more cash. I don't want to carry too much. True. Because people you encounter should take a percentage of the money that you have on hand, right? Not just, oh, it's always 500 or 5,000. The bank protects you from money from being robbed, but then you can't use it to spend. Exactly. So you kind of need a little bit of both. See, the rope here is 3,000. Yeah, it depends One place on... had it 8,000, right? Yep. Yeah, tobacco is pretty cheap. Oh, it is. Tobacco. tobacco, yeah. Yeah, I would buy a bunch of tobacco and then uh, see if you can find a place that uh, I just load up on it. Oh, it's but... 44, so I just need... Oh, I have no space. Max one. Oh, really? What? Why? One. Backpack. I don't understand the backpack. It's You started out with... Oh, okay, there it is. Now it has 49. How come you can only buy one? Can oh. you go and buy one of everything? Max zero. No, it only oh. lets you buy one. I guess uh, you're limited. Weird. Okay. Well. Yeah, I think the backpack... There's lots of notes about the backpack having mm. bugs. Um, you're <gasps> robbed! No! Well, at least you put your money in the bank beforehand. So much for training. 
The lender is the antagonist of the game. You start off owing him the amount of money you start with. You start with 5,000 in debt and immediately have that much available to you. It's a one-time loan. You cannot borrow any more money during the game. You can only pay him off. Interest is charged daily, but the amount of interest he charges you is modified by your charisma, the number of days remaining in the game. Once debt is paid to zero, no additional interest is accrued. So Tanya pay, fought immediately, got extra 5,000, paid off the debt right away, mm -hmm. and it's just done. Yeah. Yeah, so it was really, really easy to pay off the debt. Yeah, I think the debt should be harder. Should be much higher. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you have to constantly go to the bank and pay like you should to already, the lender and pay off a little bit, bit all the time. Like you should be in debt more than the money you have, even. It's like, oh, you've already spent some. And you have to, like, accumulate some money. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Prices randomly spike when you travel, so you can make a ton of money if you're lucky with your purchases. The backpack just allows you to more hold, hold more, more items, items to sell yeah. later. But why could she only buy one thing of tobacco and she couldn't buy anything else maybe because my backpack's full I'm but what's in your backpack oh. tobacco's only 47 here you have nothing you have some knives yeah. but that doesn't seem to affect your backpack since it's the apocalypse you're only allowed to buy one roll of toilet paper oh it's this it's it's the store that's limiting purchases yeah <laughs> yes, we need true. stuff for other there's adventurers. a sign on all the shelves one roll per family yes right <laughs> Okay, everyone split up. Here's your money. Okay, everybody buy one roll of toilet paper. It should only be restricted by backpack space and how much money you have. Everything else would be a bug. Okay, Ooh, so it was a bug. So the tobacco is worth something here. So sell the tobacco. Yay. Now try and buy more stuff here. Oh, I What's don't think really this cheap? is a place to buy it. Um, oh, it's in matches? No, I think it's very expensive okay. in this city. Just in general? Yeah. Okay. Let's travel again. I think it's so funny that you can, like, just go out and fight some people. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like, I'm just going to go fight. I'm in a fighting mood. I'm going to go fight someone. Every other game is like, oh, you have to wait for a random encounter yeah. to fight. This one, you just go into a bar and start punching people. Yeah. And then take their money afterwards. Their knives, their money. Yeah, pretty much. It's so funny. Fight. Your dexterity is really high, so you're like That's kicking ass now. now. Yeah. Health is getting down. My stamina goes down. The yeah. health doesn't go down too much, to be honest. No, only when you get hit. So mm. you're not getting hit that much. So here, yeah, tobacco's tobacco is pretty high. Eh, it all seems very high. Yeah, it is here. The rope Matches. is not as high. Like if you could buy that rope, there was a place that I did it for eight thousand. I would buy a rope. Here. Really? You think so? Yeah, it was 8,000. Buy one rope at least. Oh. Oh, look. You can buy tons of stuff here. Oh, it's probably just based on the money you have? I don't can we know. get one rope? Oh. One? Does it reset when you move? You have to yeah, buy it. Yeah, it does. Buy it, then move. Okay. Did you? Yeah, you did buy it. Okay. So it's working on this one. Buy tons of matches. Buy lots of know. rope. Load up on that rope. Six you rope. I think so? Yeah, load up. Ooh. I think that's not a great price. Twenty two eighty five. Okay. The other place was like seven thousand. All right. When rope costs as so much as as a GPS. A GPS, yeah. <laughs> not much rope. It's all sand wasteland. Trying to find materials for rope is 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 hard. Out in the wasteland here. So let's find okay. the expensive. Yeah. It's um, it's the Concord. Okay. Concord? No. Diamond City. Is that where everything's expensive? <laughs> Is Diamond City? <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, you found twenty-two hundred dollars. Very nice. This is not it. Thirteen hundred for rope here. Yeah, I thought that was a bad price. It was a bad price. Just keep holding it. Hold the rope. Don't sell it yet. It'll go back up. Don't ask James for 
<laughs> Financial advice? advice? Nah. No. Bad idea. Uh, let's do I need to rest? Uh, I don't uh, know. Oh. Aha! This is where you buy all the stuffs. Load up on rope! Um... Rope. I have no money now because I bought used it all on the rope five, before. You could buy five ropes. <sighs> five ropes. See, your backpack's working here. Knives? I, I'm good for knives. Canteen? It's pretty cheap. Food? No. I'm gonna get some. Okay. So. Rope! Rope. Seven thousand dollars. Oh, this is where we sell the rope. And what did you buy? Canteen? No, oh, it's not good here. Uh, I, you yeah. bought it for a hundred. It's only ten dollars more here. No. Rope holder. Yeah. <laughs> rope holder. Yes. Hold the rope. But now sell it. Sell that rope. All the rope. Yes. The monies. Look, seventy-nine thousand dollars. Get Woo. to the bank. To the Get moon. To the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Before it's all stolen. Get That's to the right. Bank. Get to the bank. <laughs> You're gonna be robbed on the way. No. All, all your money. Actually, their tobacco is really cheap here. Oh, yeah. Buy some tobacco. With your new money. With your new riches, drive your Lamborghini to the tobacconist and load up. A Ninety-nine. All of it. All the tobacco. How much? How much? Forty-four times ninety-nine. Oh, it's. If one tobacco is good, then ninety-nine tobacco is yeah, good. that's nothing. Out of space. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Let's just buy forty. Leave nice. a little bit of space. Nice round number. Okay. To the bank. Yes. Might as well go Another. to the bank. That's true. Yeah. Bank. Ah uh, no. You got health. You've got stamina. You've got knives. Ah, more of their friends joined. Ah, more of their friends joined. Yay. The standard 5,000 credits that all gangs hold. <laughs> collectively. Yeah, collective 5,000 credits. <laughs> and uh, five knives. They're they're passing the knives to each other. All right, bank. Tobacco, meh. Uh, matches for stage level. Rope is expensive Ooh, here. Ooh, it's expensive here. I should be selling it here. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Canteen? Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah. Bank. Tobacco's high in the uh, city. Sound like the rap song with the rock. We got knives, we got power. Don't know that one. The fact that the rock is in it, I'm guessing it's not great of a song. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when wrestlers do rap songs, True. <laughs> it varies from barely okay to extremely embarrassing. <laughs> are the buying and selling prices the same? Yes, yes. I am guessing they are because it's just one price. So you could say, I'll buy that rope. You want to, or, or I'll, I'll sell you that rope. You buy the rope back, exactly the same price. Just back and forth, exactly the same. All the money into the bank. Not all of it. You want to buy some stuff. I want to get a backpack. I want to be oh, able to carry more. That's smart. How many of was it? Nine? Nine. T500? Yeah, I'm going to give myself about 24. Mm. Nice. How much am I supposed to get? Is there a target? Well, the limit is 999,999 before it rolls over. How many days am I into this? You we don't know. have half of the days left. Oh, I see. 14 days for me. I played so many games like this when I ran a BBS back in the uh, early 90s. They're so much fun. <laughs> but then... When you're playing it then, you only got one turn a day. So you had to come back each day and play a turn. Oh, thank God. I was running out of stamina. Go rest. Rest uh, again. You have to do like three or two or no. three times. Yep, you're only up to 56 stamina. Oh, that's another day. I'm losing days. I'm not oh, making money. Oh, that's true. Well, no then more. you can stay. Atarius Maxis, uh, Maximus was also a sysop, which, hence, I'm guessing why this game came about. Yeah. <laughs> it's a reminder of those uh, uh, sysop days. Sysop days? Yep. Running BBSs. Mm. I ran one. 
Yeah. Single line BBS. Because I'm not paying for two lines. Phone lines back then, they're, ex <laughs> they're expensive. I couldn't even afford a good uh, modem. What did I buy? I had a super crappy 9600 baud modem that kept dropping all the time and n almost never connected at 9600. Mm. It was really terrible. I always like drooled over the 14.4 modems and 28.8 modems. Uh, Maybe it was only 14.4 when I had it. 14. But it was terrible. Um, uh, but I had, a, I had a number of uh, people on my board. It's called Elysium. Um, I, I did so many nice ASCII title screens. I wish, I wish I had it all. I can't remember what happened to it. Yeah, games like Trade Wars, uh, LORD, Legend of the Red Dragon. There's, um, that's only the, oh, there's some other ones. I can't remember some of the other names of them. I think I ran LORD. I don't know if I ran Trade Wars. <laughs> 9600 bot, blistering fast. At some point it was. Um, Buy-in? Yeah, because they Canteens. dropped to $17. Oh, out of space. Oh, no. Well, go to max. What can I sell? What do I have oh, to sell? Oh, your backpack is full of tobacco. Oh, I should sell the tobacco. Yeah, so sell the tobacco first, then buy the canteens. Yeah, I have a lot of tobacco. And that's a decent price, right? How do you know I have tobacco? 40 down the side of oh, tobacco. Oh, yeah. I, I paid $44, I think, for tobacco. Hey, so. I started with 300 baud. I think my 90s... I, I think I started with a 9600 baud. It was late, late in the game. I think I bought it for like $300. I think I ran the BBS for about a year and a half. It's lots of fun. I just wish I had, I only had one computer, so it was like completely taking over my computer. I kind of had downtime when nobody was phoning in, I would use my computer. I was trying to do like multitasking. It was like running. I could run a some sort of DOS multitasking, oh, I didn't which didn't really work very well. Can't remember what it was. So I could kind of do things while the BBS was running. Not very well. Canteens, nice. Atarius Maximus says, I've got a web server running on a Commodore 64. It's currently turned off, but it works. That's really, really cool. People still run BBSs to this day. Mm. And you can tell net into them. To this them. day? Really? Yeah. That's like awesome. Like the original like BBS <laughs> software. And you can log in to them through Telnet. And it acts just like dialing in. Because it emulates the um, communication. My health. Uh-oh. You can run. You might have to. More enemies. Well, take it down pretty low. Oh, and there's seven criminals. Run. Is there seven? Run. run. How do you know there? Oh, there's six. Five. Four. Oh, three. Okay, you're getting there, two. Come on. You can do it. One. Hi, kitty. Five, nine. Yeah, it's always the same. <laughs> so... If you don't kill them right away, it's almost like, well, maybe I should run. Hi, right, kitty, kitty. I you want need to sit in the ball? No, you're too big. A doctor, too. You're too big for the ball. Where's that black cat? Oh, he's over there. He's upside down and sleepy. Hi. Want to cuddle? Help keep my legs warm. It's actually a little bit cool right now. Cooled down a bit today. It was like low 30s. Over the weekend, Celsius. It was very warm. Very warm. Not super hot. This isn't a gang, it's an army. Great. Hi. Want to sleep in the bowl? Go in the bowl. It's super cute. Go in the bowl. Go in the bowl. There's no treats in the bowl. I just want you to be in the bowl. Get in the bowl. Get in the bowl on camera. No? Want to cuddle? Nice. Do you want to cuddle? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, oh, super cute cat. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, you got the large backpack. Finally. Oh, it went up to 99. Nice. Do you need some knives? It doesn't show you how many knives you have. You have to kind of guess. Rope. Load up on that rope. Make that money. All the way. Rope. Canteens don't make as much as rope. All the rope. There you go. Sell that rope at 8,000. <laughs> Seven or 8,000. Oh, that's only 1,000. Eight days left. Sell that rope. Rope's worth nothing in your inventory. It's all about the cash at the end. Hi, kitty. Oh, you're so soft. You don't understand how soft this cat is. <laughs> He is so he is soft. soft. He's only slightly less soft than when we got him. <gasps> He's still pretty soft. The canteen price has skyrocketed. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> and the rope here. Oh, yeah. How are the match prices here? I don't know. I'm going to sell all my rope and canteens. One beetle a week? <laughs> One beetle a week. Uh, eight days a week. Good. Didn't get that at first, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good. <laughs> Take my money. Oh, you have to hit right first. Yeah. It's a two-button joystick, two-button system. No, but you can't move away and do multiple Oh, ones. right. Rope. I'll take, I'll take 7,000. Oh, yeah. I bought yeah. it for a lot less than that. Oh, kitty. Hi. Oh, you're so soft. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. When we first got this little cat... He would run away when we went tried to pet him. He'd constantly run away. He was and now so he's so shy. cuddly now. You are so cuddly. He's very sweet. He's a very sweet cat. Lots of money. Look at all that money. Lots Quarter of a million. Was that easy? Buying and selling rope? Yep. Stink. Who would go to university? Oh, hi. Just buy and sell rope. <laughs> That's right. I'm a rope importer exporter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. I make the big money. Yeah. Traveling the lands, killing people too, but yeah. mostly rope. Mostly rope. Not as much killing, more rope. A little bit of killing. A little, little bit, bit of killing, killing, but it's part of the job. It's the dangers of the job. <laughs> oh, actually, you have. I didn't even see your bank. You've got a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Nice. I know how this game's played. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing the bank is added to your credits at the end, like for your total score. You don't have to withdraw all your money or put all your money in the know. bank. I don't know. I don't know why you would have withdraw it. I suppose if you had, you needed it for training. To, yeah, I haven't trained buying. all that much. Oh, training now. I wish this was a little faster. <laughs> don't remember. Okay. I mean, it should be added together. It's all. Can I want. make a quarter of a million dollars in a month too? <laughs> you can if you kill people. And, well, that's the danger. You don't make money from killing people. You only get five thousand. But uh, it's 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 rope. So I've got six days left. Yep. Where can I find cheap rope? <laughs> From the I... trader. From the merchant, death merchant. Yeah, but it's hard to find the merchant. Yeah, it's random. I think it was pretty cheap. Where was it cheap? It rolls over at 999000 <sighs> Be a senator. There you go. Yeah. Uh, you can make a quarter of a million dollars in a month being a senator for sure. Just have to promise them big things. Mm -hmm. There's a wealth cap. Yep, rolls over. There's a hundred percent tax at a million dollars in yeah, this game. Yeah, yeah. As long as you don't hit that, no tax. It is satisfying to hear that click upwards. So. Oh, that's enough. Too tedious. Um, oh, that's another thing you should look at is accelerated, the, like it goes faster as you hold it, mm. like just a li incrementally faster or exponentially faster, I mm. guess, but not too exponential. Um, so you're looking for cheap rope because you got so much money and go back to here, Los Angeles, unless it's totally random. I think the... Um city is pretty good too no it's not completely random no yes accelerating would be nice so this game is like virtually bug free like we really haven't ran into anything 
too crazy. Like no, some of the it's back, been great. The backpack issues, I guess. So let's see what new Salem has. Oh, you learned a thousand dollars interest. Uh, oh no, not buying rope very here. High rope matches. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Travel again. Have you had to train or visit a doctor? Uh, doctor, yes. Yeah, and tr uh, I but have it, done some training too. Yeah, a little bit of training. It's very expensive though. It's kind of a, because you have to travel and you have to pay, so it's kind of a Matches waste of money. Because you don't really gain anything from training. Rope is reasonable. Because you don't make more money when you kill people. I guess you defeat them faster. Mm. Hi, mm. little cat. Oh, you're so cute. 3000 for rope? It's cheaper. Yeah. I would keep looking. But you only have so many days left. Prices plummet! Oh, well, you can buy tobacco. Day three. Oof. Look at tobacco! Oh my goodness. But it may not go back up. And the rope is oh, cheap here too. Yep, buy the rope here. Buy, buy, buy and a the bit rope. of tobacco too. Well, most, just all. Load up as much rope as you can. Rope because it's it's you're restricted on space. Yep. Training makes it slightly easier to defeat enemies. Okay. I don't even know. Uh... No, no matches. Rope. All the rope. Crank it up. 90 rope. 90 rope. 90 rope. 67. No, all the money. What are you doing? Now is the time. I'm limited. I can't get more. Oh, it's, it's stopping that? me. Oh, okay. All the tobacco. Oh, I didn't get. Oh. Because <laughs> you don't. You have to hit the button. Right. Well, it's better that you have to confirm it. No, but if you sh if you shift up or down, it clears it. Okay. Yeah. So now we go back to you your tobacco. the bank was pretty good. I don't care about the tobacco. Okay. I've, I can afford the rope. <laughs> yep. Travel. Uh, what was cheap? That was the bank was pretty good. I think. Los Angeles was the highest. Was it? Yep. More so than um, yep. Diamond City. Yep. I thought Diamond City was eight thousand for the rope. Los Angeles was eight. Was it? Okay. I don't know. I think you're That's right. what I remember. Yay. It's only 3,000 now. Yeah. Lies. Well, you can go over. Well, day two. I have one day left. I'm only allowed to travel to one more place. Well, we're going to sell it all in Diamond City. Uh, yeah. If I have to fight someone. You're right. Ah, that's five. There you go. Uh, it's a bit better. That's better. Okay. It's all you have. You have to do it. So. Realization, this is the stock market from Animal Crossing on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the stock market. Animal Crossing is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Like, I, I can't remember. Somebody did a write-up on it, and it described it perfectly. Like, like you're like a, a slave to somebody, and you're just like farming turnips for people and oh that's yeah i i think all that that whole very, mechanic for the turnips weird. and everything i just always felt like turnips always that increase just, in price that just like, that's no crazy. it doesn't but it just i i don't know that aspect of the game i just found felt like work <laughs> you know when a game feels like work it's not fun yeah. anymore you have to go back every day and check the prices every day and ugh. last day we need to party in las vegas <laughs> go to las vegas then Los Angeles, New Vegas. Or New Vegas. It's yeah. New Vegas. The doctor? Yeah. You're robbed. Oh, not a good ending. Time Game is up. over. So you made 59,000 yes. or actually um, 600,816. Pretty good. Very good. I didn't sell my matches, but that's fine. Yeah. They're, all, they're not much. Good stuff. That was fun. Very yeah, fun that was game. Fun. Yep. Great job. It's like almost done. Like I didn't. We didn't really encounter any 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 problems. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Thank you so much, uh, Atarius Maximus, uh, Steve, for making uh, both of these games that we played. Really fun. Really, really. I love good. these kinds of games. Yeah. <laughs> Really I thought it might be too much to do both at once, but I, it was no, good. No, no, I don't. It they're didn't both take RPGs. a tremendous amount of time. I don't think we yep. started yeah. robbed at the doctor. Yeah. Nice to know the healthcare system is still the same in the US <laughs> after the apocalypse. Yeah, great RPGs. 
<laughs> so we had uh, we played Legend of Silver Peak. Great so, fun RPG. So fun. Looks gorgeous. Couple of bugs we encountered. Nothing. But super I think it, game breaking. It still plays really fun. And yep. Yeah. Yeah. And a Death Merchant, which we just played. That was awesome too. Yeah. Uh, great throwback to BBS, BBSs and RPGs, uh, text RPGs on BBSs. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, so, coming up on the show, uh, let's take a look. Uh, so, uh, next show, we are off. It's no Friday show. Just don't show up on Friday. It's not happening. <laughs> Um, and then after that, we're going to be playing Tanks 2022. Mm -hmm. There's kind of two versions now, so we'll be playing both versions. Uh, unless uh, he changes his mind and amalgamates it back to mm -hmm. another one. By then, it probably will, I'd say. Uh, poll results, we did read out kind of what the poll results were at the end. I can read them again. Yeah, for those who missed it. Yep, let's just put it on the screen. I think I can put it on the screen. There we go. Huh. Mm, kind of. Uh, so it ended up uh, 55%. Uh, how do you handle burnout on projects? 55% take a break and work on other projects and come back. So half the people. Yeah. Not too big of a surprise. 20% take a break from all projects and then come back. So just chill out. Uh, power through it, 15%. A lot of hard workers. And then 10%. <laughs> yeah. Just, just get through it. Take a break and usually never come back. <laughs> and usually never come back. <laughs> Got to get through it before 10%. you burn out, right? That's yeah. Right. Um, and then I added to the coming soon, an Uno Plus Cart special with live interview. Ooh, okay. With to be announced. Um, so, that's kind of a secret right now. What that's about? Really? But it is super exciting. Okay. That's what's happening in the Uno Plus Cart? Uh, arena over okay. there. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so I can't wait to show that. I think that's probably going to be the first one coming up out of all of these uh, upcoming things that don't have a date, because it's kind of coming soon. Things are coming together, but I don't know. We shall see. Um, and then we're going to be playing, doing an 8-bit day. We're going to be playing Tensor something. Trezkowski go? Trezkowski go? Yeah, there we go fun uh a fun game with yeah. interesting mechanics it's like there's a bunch of stuff in a cube and you're in the cube mm -hmm. and you turn the cube 90 degrees and everything falls through to gravity oh cool and then you collect the thing and then you turn it, turn again, it again and everything falls oh. you have to make it so you can be beside the things and collect it gotcha yeah it's a lot of fun i don't think we've puzzle played sounds it like a show. puzzle game yeah i don't uh, think may, that doesn't may. sound familiar at least i haven't let me just check okay because it, it was out a while ago, but he just updated the kind of a updated version. Nope, no, we haven't played it before. Okay. So that's perfect. Um, so that's all the planned things. Oh, and we're going to be playing uh, Harmony Games, Robot War 2684, Mr. Yo Yo for high scores before July 5th. So, what day is that? That is next Tuesday. So we have to play that before next Tuesday. Oh, so cute. Did you put him there? You put him there. I did, but he's staying, which is a little surprising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to do, we have to get the, those in the high scores before mm -hmm. next Tuesday. Okay. So we'll have to do an after dark sooner than later. And we have to start on the 2600 anniversary. Oh, yeah. Games very, very soon. Very soon. Yeah. Um, 50 years. There's a chance it might get extended. That's fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll get it in as well. Yeah. No, 45 years for the Atari. 2600. 45. 20, okay. Because that's 50 for Atari. 50 for Atari yesterday. For 2600. And September 11th is 45 for the 2600. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, did he lick you? Yeah. Oh, he licked. That's the first time I've ever seen him lick, lick? lick us. Oh. Oh, he saw it on camera. He's here. so cute. He is. Well, well I'm not sure blocked. if he can. It's kind of blocked. It's kind of. <laughs> Well, Unfortunately. Take our word for it. Yeah. Um, so thank you for tuning in tonight. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dan, ABC, Vitoko, RC70, Atarius Maximus. Of course, big thank you to you for making these games. Uh, Nostalgia, uh, Nostalgic 26, Azure 6502, BR Pocock, Chelsea Donnie Mao. Thank you. Carl G, Old Carl. Style. Yeah. Metal uh -huh. Lunar. Lots of people. Rendered Ghost. Phaser Cat Games. Putting up the 
Yes, the Atari, the the Pixel, pixel Atari. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Sprayed, this sprite. This so it's sprayed. So sprayed up on yeah. the screen. Phaser Cat Games. Uh, Every Tower Collections. Ricardo Pym. Lots of people Cafe who Man. subscribed at the Tons. beginning of the show. So many re-upped their subscriptions. And, and there was RJ, even a raid right at the beginning, too. Huge raid. <laughs> so there Thank was a lot going on. Thank you so much for on. that raid. Yeah. Uh, 48K Bits. Was that who rated us, I think? 48K RAM? 48K RAM. That's yes, what it is. Yes, that was really nice. Speaking of which, I should raid somebody else. Hmm. If, if there's you, a good uh, toss retro. Toss you guys over. How about some Star Tropics speed runs? Ooh, Star Tropics. Uh, let's see who else tuned in. <laughs> Star Maximus. So you got that. And that's the end. Anybody All sneak right. in at the end? RC70. I've got to get worse speakers to your background sounds. Don't confuse me so much. I thought the birds in my yards were going nuts at 1130. <laughs> it's a very professional microphone, so yeah. it's very, very clear. Yeah, it is a good The mic. birds are saying goodnight to each other. I think I so. Think so. Yeah. The birds are active all. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Or you're hearing the cat purr. Yeah, the birds are. Let's see. How do I do this? Because I know I can do this beforehand now. Can you? Yeah. And then I just do it at the end. So thank oh, you for tuning in. We will be seven. here on um, Friday. Two, one. No, no, no. And then you do raid. Oh, right? okay. We won't be here on Friday, but we'll be back <laughs> next Tuesday. But we may be doing an after dark okay. sometime this week. Okay. Don't know. I get so it So thanks <laughs> so much for uh, hanging out with us tonight. And the birds. And the birds. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see you uh, next Tuesday. Yes. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have, a good, Have night. a good night.